Hello and welcome to a little end of Slice and Dice 2.0 tier list. I'm joined by that other guy I do stuff with sometimes. The liberal friend. Yeah, the liberal friend. We're we're collaborating. Here. We're doing it. We're 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 looking at the characters in Slice and Dice before uh they're all obsoleted by definitely power creep and uh Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. There's like I think it's like more than double the characters are gonna be in, in 3.0 right like it's like is that right 100 and something i thought new characters thought, added i thought levon said it was like 24 new characters am i crazy i might be crazy hold I'm on i'm going to check the steam page i'm actually doing that as well i i i thought i saw a thing where it was maybe it's 100 new items maybe that's what it is actually it features 128 hero classes so it's 28 new on because there's 100 now oh okay got it see in my head i was like oh 100 new no it's just mm -hmm. it's just you know that's just the total number. Got also, it. Also, plus uh, 999,999 because of all the generate nightmares. Mm, true, true. A million new generate characters. Mm. 73 monsters. How many monsters do you think are in the game right now? Like 12? 59. So there's going to be 14 new guys? Mm. Well, that's like, you know, there's like, eggs don't count. They're not real. Like yeah, dragon true. egg, that's not real. Like, like, yeah, like Troll is one of the characters, which I've never seen. I have never, never seen a troll. Never. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they exist. So, uh, also of note here, four hundred seventy-three items. There are currently three hundred fifty-five. So it's going to be like a hundred and something new items. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, and there's going to be modding because I remember CS reached out to Tan and mm -hmm. Tan said, "Please wait for three point for modding." So I'm very excited to see what happens with that. Yeah. Ho hopefully, people make some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, very exciting. Okay, shall we begin? I'm ready. So to start off, for uh, you said it pretty well at the beginning before we started recording. Uh, there is no definite like pick this character, they're always good. Pick this character, they're always bad. I named the tiers as such, uh, almost ranging from God, don't make me pick this to I love this unit, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, with there's going to be a little bit of like. Uh, differentiation too with the tier ones. I think last time I did a series tier list, I put the tier ones on their own, but we're going to rank them, uh, I guess, relatively to how I feel about them and how you feel about them as your starting party. I mean, well, the general rule of thumb right here is that if yeah. you're watching this for guidance on how to play this game, this shit, is, this is not really a guide. Like, you know, Barbarian might be, you know, in the top tier and Ace might be in the bottom tier, but there may be a situation somewhere at some point where Ace is the correct pick over Barbarian. Now that situation is very niche, mm -hmm. but it can happen. I can I can give it to you. I think I have it. What is it? You have Profit as your red, mm -hmm. and you have your tier eight item, and it is Fairy Dust. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I might pick Ace there. Uh, there 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 are just times where you know. A, a terrible character is better than a good character, basically. It, it's yeah. up to you to look at the situation and decide what actually is better. We're, we're evaluating these basically more so in a vacuum, right? Yeah. So, I'm planning on doing some more content that's just aimed towards like how to make good decisions in time with Slice and Dice 3.0's release so to help people learn how to play and win on hard because I think a lot of the thinking you have to do for this game is a little bit unintuitive and... Uh, depending on how you approach games like this, what'll happen is you will lose because you'll end a turn with like XX, two damage XX, and you'll go, man, this is bullshit, I rolled bad. Uh, when in reality, there were a lot of choices that led you to that moment. But Yep. Also, I think something to talk about is, is play styles as well, because I mean, someone, someone pointed this out recently in one of my videos. I love Sprout, and you don't like Sprout very much. Correct. Generally speaking. And Roughly. the person pointed out in the comment on my video is that you have just generally a more aggressive play style. So you end fights faster, you take more aggressive characters than me, apparently, yada, yeah. yada, etc. Right. So mm -hmm. uh, for you, Sprout is not that useful because you're ending turns before you even have a chance really to ramp Sprout up. But if I, with a more defensive play style, uh, get a lot more value out of it, it can be pretty good. And, and both ways are pretty good to play as well. Now, there's no, I mean, I would actually say probably playing aggressively tends to be better mm -hmm. because you know winning fights fast is usually pretty good but um yeah. it, it, it works either way the big problem with playing defensively there's one major issue and his name is the hand nah he's fine you can kill him 
uh, you can't outlive them is the big issue, right? It's like the strategy comes down to just, if you're going to outlive things, it's good until you run into something that inevitably you cannot outlive. Also, yeah, that, yeah. The, the other big thing is a lot of times what you'll die to if you're trying to outlive is poison. And to beat poison, you have to have cleanse, but the forms of guaranteed cleanse are bad. And you're just opening mm -hmm. yourself up to more turns where you can whiff, is my opinion on that. Yeah, you do need actual damage for pretty much every final boss in the game. You yeah. can't really beat. You can't really stall them out. That is true. I, I you can stall Hexia out. To be fair, and if you I, have I, like poison on like mm -hmm. Venom or maybe Assassin, and well, if you have uh, Hexia's damage is pretty low anyway. You're averaging like mm -hmm. maybe 14 damage per turn. Max yeah, from her. but but Voyx, when I fight Hexia, she just spams the 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 cleaving pain move on me. I'm trying to stall her out, and then then I yeah. die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, then I, I don't know. Maybe you just have to defend a little better, I suggest. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we? I'm ready to go. Okay. I'm excited. So uh, you're going to hear on my end. Uh, you're not, again, you're not recording this, right? So this is just going to be my POV. I am not recording. In the description, I will put a picture of Cranberry's tier list, which I'll have you send me after the video. So you can go look at that if you want. But you will hear the clicking around in the background of my slice and dice as I remember what these tier ones are called. Uh, mine up first is Scoundrel. <laughs> I So I'll lead off because I am the Scoundrel Respecter. I'll put, I think Scoundrel is usually good. This is my, my hot take, I think. A lot of people, and I know this is a very common opinion, uh, many, many people hate Scoundrel because four X's. And you're right to hate Scoundrel for, honestly, five X's. That cleave one kind of sucks. But... At 6 HP on a starting hero, Scoundrel almost always lives to turn 3, and if you miss 9 straight rolls on the most important side, I mean, it's unlucky, but it doesn't happen that often, basically. I really like Scoundrel for one specific curse, and it's for the reason you kind of mentioned there, the 6 HP. Top 3 poison, if I see Scoundrel, I'm like, actually, I'm pretty happy about this. Yeah, that's fair. That's usually a pretty good thing. Uh, generally, though, it's just not very consistent, and I don't like Scoundrel very much, but... Yeah. I understand the premise of, like, you have three rolls. The odds of you getting triple X are generally pretty low. But it'll happen at probably once per fight. Yes. Which is not fun to have happen to you, is when, you, when your scoundrel just triple Xs you. I agree. Uh, in, the, in the early game, like, like, the way I see it is, as long as you don't take, like, a super aggressive early game curse with scoundrel, you're usually fine. You can usually survive the early game still. Yeah, um, I agree. You have something, like, crazy, like, I don't, I don't know, what would be, like, the worst curse to have with scoundrel? Maybe, like... Maybe Sandstorm's pretty bad because your entire team's taking damage, and if you like, mm -hmm. if you if that. you double X the first fight, uh, it's pretty bad for you. Yeah, maybe like um, Doom if you have a particularly bad starting team. Yeah, I can see that being a thing too. Um, uh, or even just like an add curse, like maybe add. What's the worst add you can start off with on four? Is uh, it... add Wolf maybe. I th I feel like wolves are kind of jokes though. They do no damage. Yeah, but they do like about as much damage as a goblin, and the goblin you can just kill everything else and it'll run away. Yeah, that's true. I, I would say I would say probably add wolf. Maybe if you if you want to go like add sniper every three turns, that could be oh, a pr yeah. pretty big issue. Yeah, yeah, add sniper in general. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I, I actually respect the cleave side a little bit on scoundrel though too. It can be pretty useful. I mean, like you yeah. know, it's outputting it's outputting three damage. It might not be where you want it to be. But it is three damage, which is nice. And then the vulnerability also is a very strong side for a tier one. Mm -hmm. But I just prefer to not play Scoundrel when I can because I don't want to deal with the... Because, like, again, it, it has, it's a high variance character in the early game. I don't want to deal with that sometimes. So yeah. I, I, I put it for me in the need support role. It's very yeah. good, obviously, if you can find, like, a Worn Arms oh, or yeah. even, like... What's nice is that Scoundrel can actually hold items that other characters usually can't, like uh, Reagents. Yep, agree. You got that as an option. Um... I don't know, powdered okay. ma powdered mana <laughs> dust or whatever. Like you uh, got, yeah, you got. I don't hate it. Yeah, I actually have been coming around on that item a bit. Twin dagger is also a big one. Twin daggers, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are there are good items in the early game that scoundrel can find as well. Yeah, uh, and but they scale well too. Those items are you're mm -hmm. you're happy to take them for later. Yeah, but I you know, I still I still rank it pretty low. Yeah, the the last thing I want to say about scoundrel, and I'll, we'll try to not spend so much time on each character, but. Uh, I think Scoundrel scales better than almost every other character because one damage cleave and one damage vulnerable are good as late as you have to keep Scoundrel, which is the nice thing. 
Mm -hmm. Like, Soldier falls off super hard by combat 8. Two damage is just terrible. But if you're hitting one damage, Vulnerable Scoundrel is turning fights. Mm -hmm. So, But yeah, I, I understand the hate, and I get it. Uh, Some people next... just aren't as lucky as you, Voyix. Yeah, true. Very true. My next character is Thief. Okay. I hate Thief. I'm not going to put them all the way at the bottom because I don't think they're the worst of the tier 2 oranges, but I fucking hate Thief. Despise this character. Uh, I'm I'm a little mixed on Thief because I think that, like, the dice are better than Scoundrels, but obviously the HP is lower. 4 HP is mm -hmm. pretty scary. Um, but I don't know. I've had times where the bow is really nice if you see an early game Thorn, and it's just like, oh, cool, I don't have to, I don't have to deal with this shit anymore. Goodbye, Thorn. Yeah, so, agreed. There's that. Um, is and even if you only roll the two damage side, it's a pretty consistent two damage, and that's usually good enough for the early game. If you see a thorn, you just put, you slap a shield on it, and it probably lives. And you know that's, I don't know, it's fine for me. I would put, it's either in usually good or need support for me. I don't put it super low, but yeah, I I go need support for a thief. Thief is the same as scoundrel, where much like you said, you're gonna roll triple X's probably once per combat with thief. The problem is that when thief doesn't kill something, she dies. Four HP means you're getting killed where where scoundrel lives. So that's why I flip them. That's all. Mm -hmm. Two damage okay. is good. Uh, and like like I agree with what you said about the bow, but it's hard to really give a credit to thief there because you know how often only are you gonna see a thorn I, I, it's and only how often you gonna hit the bow. It's it's a yeah, nice yeah. bonus. I agree. Mm -hmm. But it's not relevant though, you're right. Yeah. And thief doesn't you don't want to keep thief long because two damage falls off. So Mm -hmm. But I just I don't like Thief. I'm a hater. Uh, well, I I feel the same about Scoundrel. Yeah, I, I think it's very fair. Mm -hmm. Both opinions. They're very much similar. Yeah. Um anything else you want to say? No. Okay. I have lost next. Okay. In terms of tier ones, now this is not like relative power to like tier twos or threes, but Relative to all of the other tier ones, I would put Lost in the almost always good tier. I think this is probably, not probably, this is the best of the starting oranges to me. I think Lost is very good. I agree, but I think I am not super happy about Lost enough to put it in the top tier. I think I, I think I still put it in the usually good tier. I think all of the orange tier ones are kind of just like meh, and I'm usually yeah. pretty happy to upgrade them quickly. I mean, like, uh, uh, Lost has the most consistent damage output out of these, because it has four damage rolls, and it also has a dodge, which is nice, too. Um, but three HP is so low. Yeah. Three the, HP is really low. The big difference maker, because I just got done talking shit about Thief, is that Lost is always going to have some impact on the fight, and the impact is almost always two damage. And I think sometimes it's four damage, which is, like, insane for a tier one. Yeah, but the, the problem the problem with that is that it's really three damage because how many characters have more than six health in the early game when you still have lost? Yeah, you're not wrong. Pretty low, but which is still good. Don't get yeah. me wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's still useful. Um, but usually it's either two damage or three damage, um, which is very good. You have the dodge. It does sort of make it impossible. We talked about top three poison before. It does kind of make it impossible to take top three poison. Not actually impossible because you can usually win a fight in three turns. Yeah. But if anything targets lost and you have top three poison, things are looking pretty sketchy. Usually lost, you'll just end up cashing out the damage and then moving on, which is mm -hmm. also fine. But mostly I think that we are of the same opinion about the tier... Uh, the tier one oranges, I'm just putting the tiers a little... Like, I think Lost is better than Scoundrel by enough that I would put her up a tier over Scoundrel. But you could put her in the usually good so tier. So do I. Yeah. So I, do I. I, I just I, have Scoundrel uh, tier lower than you. No, I agree. I, I think it's uh, mm -hmm. correct. Okay. Last guy. Uh, Dabble. I don't know. I want to just slam Dabble in the bottom tier. I think I will. I really don't like Dabble. Damn! That's uh, fucked no, up, man. No, yeah, no, that's not right. It needs support because Dabble's good with Mage. I, I might even go higher. I might put it in. I, I think, honestly, everyone except for a Scoundrel goes into the usually good tier. That's fair. I, I, just, I just think Dabble with 5 HP and with pretty consistently, like, well, let's call it one and a half damage per round. Because one man is mm -hmm. worth more than one damage, but you're, you know, not getting too much out of it. Um, well, it, it, it's good enough. Passable, I would say. 
I, I find that Dabble really just doesn't show up on a lot of turns. There's so many turns where you'll roll, like specifically if you don't have Mage, I feel like Dabble just doesn't have anything to do because the one mana gets significantly worse without Mage. In my Not opinion. bad with Cultist. Actually pretty good with Cultist because it's a good character. It's a good HP sync to put cuts into. Having that's five fair. on your on your orange is pretty nice. Yeah, that's not, that's not too crazy. And then if you um, have Cultist, five heal also suddenly becomes relevant too. Yeah, no, I agree. Actually, I I could see it with Cultist as well. I just I feel like the need support is that Dabble Dabble's power is very much hinging on if your blue is useful or student. So, or hey, or initiate. Uh, yeah, or initiate. Sorry, sorry. Also, or initiate. Mm -hmm. You're not wrong. But so that's that's half that's half the time good, half the time bad. So it's like I I you know, it's a it's a coin flip then basically if it's good or not. Yeah, I agree. So. But that's why I think specifically it just goes in the need support. It's very much in or hinging on who the rest of your team is. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. Who's up next? I got Brigand. Brigand, that's the one with the exerts, right? Yeah, that's yep. that's a Mr. Exert guy. Yeah, he, I'm putting him in usually good. Three damage exert just ends early fights, and he can never roll an X, so you always get to roll for it, which is nice. Yeah, he's uh, decent. Yeah. He roll. It, what was what's the math on this, right? It's like so the 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 three damage sides when you roll them, it's one point five damage per turn, mm -hmm. and then the other ones are one damage per turn. So it's like a little over one damage per turn on average. But then you have self shields. You also have burst damage, which is much more important than just you know damage per turn. Yep. He's pretty good. Yeah. You'll like Brigand more if you like to end fights quicker because getting the damage, even though you're paying, like, you're paying with taking the following turn off, getting the damage ahead of time means you kill an enemy a turn earlier sometimes, which is nice. Mm -hmm. But he's not spectacular and he falls off. But eh. He's, he's good enough. Yep. He's not some of the other characters. The yellows are generally pretty good with the exception of one of the guys. I'm curious to see which is your one of the guys, because I kind of like them all for the most part, but let, mm. let, let's get to it. Who's next? Okay, uh, let's do Fighter next. Yeah, this is Fighter. Okay. Uh, Fighter is like, he, he's like, he almost deserves to go in his own tier. I'm going to put him in need support. Fighter is like one of the strongest in the first two fights, and then he just becomes such a massive piece of shit so fast. Yeah, I do find that, like, I'm oftentimes being like, Fighter, please stop rolling this shield. I need to yeah. damage so mm -hmm. badly, please. Yep, very fast. Um, he just becomes garbage. Yeah. I, I, I feel that. I, I think I put him in need support, too, then. Yeah, my The support he needs is to get the fuck out of my run before the second major boss. Mm -hmm. If you ever take Fighter into the Witches, you're just so sad. Yeah, that is not good. It is. Uh, my up next... Mm -hmm. This is my hated character. It's Ruffian. Interesting. I, bottom tier. Despise Ruffian. Bottom tier. I like him. Ugh. I he's like him if you got like there's there's characters that support him well. I would say like Defender supports him pretty well. Uh, Defender. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's, Dabble a little bit. <laughs> he's just Gambler. Hey, the Cleave is pretty good. He's like he's like Gambler and Scoundrel put into one character. Yeah, you're you're right. You're right. He's always going to be dead, and he makes the transition into the tier 2 yellows awkward. But, like, the biggest problem is that some runs, you're going to start with this guy, and then he's just going to roll no damage forever. He's just going to sit there constantly hitting ones. Yeah, but when he hits that 5, though, it's really nice sometimes. That's true. I, I remember recently I had a run where I was sitting there going, man, I don't think anyone can kill this thorn, and then my ruffian rolled his 5 damage pain and took 9 in a single hit. There you go. And I went, okay, bye, buddy. That's pretty yeah. sick. Uh, I, I yeah, I get, like I get not liking him. He's obviously, he, you know, speaking of high variance with Scoundrel, he's a very high variance character. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but five damage is a lot, and I find with 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 him, you can just choose to not keep him alive. You can just let him let him go to Valhalla, yeah. and then next combat he's got two HP, and guess what? He rolls the five damage again, and he goes once again back to Valhalla, and that's usually good enough for a yellow character yeah in the early game at least so if if no. he if he always rolled the five i would probably put him in like the top tier because he's yeah. very good because hitting, yeah, like, hitting five just ends the fights it's just that four hp means sometimes he gets killed and also he has mm -hmm. a whole lot of non-sides 
it i do think it's a really cool design concept though of him only having four hp to start and having the five damage pain side yeah I agree. It's, a fun, it's a fun little mini game of can i keep him alive to use it that's no. always enjoyable he is very cool and a bitch okay all right i don't have a lot to say about hoarder he's always good he's probably the yes. best tier one I agree. I agree with you, Voice. He's, he's the GOAT for sure. He's maybe my single favorite tier one character. Yeah. He's just I like, agree. what if I always did two damage? <laughs> yeah. And like, he scales well too, because a lot of times you'll pick up something that gives plus ones, and suddenly this guy is hitting fours as a tier one, which is insane. Yeah. He's sick. I love him. Yeah. There's uh, six HP. There is nothing to dislike. He never misses. Mm -hmm. He's the GOAT for sure. He, fighter wishes he was this cool. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Mm -hmm. All right, on to the grays. Yep. Personally, I don't have a lot of opinions about the grays. We can kind of blitz through these. Defender is, like, fine, usually good. I put him in usually good, too. Yep. I agree. Um, he Gray, he shows up to work. He puts the shield up. Sometimes he hits one damage. Very cool. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. uh, I despise Buckle. Absolutely. You hate, hate him because he's bald. It's true. I, I'm putting him uh -huh. in the bottom tier. No, he's at least need support, man. He's fine. He's I okay. I, I'm he's willing to fine. meet you. At Don't need do support. that. Don't do that to him. Yeah. He only got two blanks. He consistently does two of something. Like that's that's good enough for a tier one gray man. You can't just because just because he has no hair doesn't mean you can do this to him. <laughs> if his two damage wasn't heavy, I would be more interested in giving him a. My that's usually still good enough for a gray though, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, he can go in the need support tier, but I don't like him. He's on okay. thin ice. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. My next one is Squire. I don't even know what this guy does. What do you mean? He's he's the baby monk. What do you mean you don't know what he oh, does? Oh yeah. Uh, I I don't know. I honestly don't care. Need support, I guess. I need support are usually good. I put yeah. it in between. It's kind of sort. <laughs> it's it's sort of like a uh, dabble or sort of that in between position. I feel like. Yeah. It actually doesn't matter how you feel about Squire. I don't care. I I, I will say Squire is, is kind of an annoying character if you. Uh, get like an early scrapper and you're like oh i need to shield bash and he just keeps rolling yeah. the self shields yep also hates ruffian. It's very annoying sometimes also hates ruffian that is true as well uh alloy um, is the last one here i i don't know when, I'm, when i started playing again i would probably have slammed alloy bottom tier no hesitation but i'm willing to put mm -hmm. alloy in need support I, I agree. The only thing really holding him back is his low HP. Yeah. I mean, the... Being in the middle position does mean you get targeted by Cleaves more mm -hmm. often. So you're basically taking the most damage on your team. So having only four HP and only having a maximum shield output of two is a little yeah. spooky for a gray. Yep. But, uh, you know, the mana gain side is pretty solid. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess the Cleave is technically doing three shield output. Yeah, technically. Uh, yeah. But, uh, but you know, it's, it, it could be worse. Yeah, cleanse is nice. Multi shield is nice. Repel is nice. Like it's fine, but not great. Mm -hmm. uh, reds. I have healer first. That's the one with the hat, right? Yeah, that's hat. Yeah, I'd put healer in usually good. I think she is close to the best. Yeah, most of the tier one healers are like it's it's. I mean, I guess one of them is distinctly better than the others. Yes. But most of them, it's the is the meme from the office where it's you know you know headquarters wants you to know the two <laughs> difference between these two pictures. Yep, is that shit where they're all doing the same thing pretty much? Yeah, they they maybe make one mana if you're lucky. They make two mana uh, mm -hmm. or something like that, like or, or, or mana and extra value, or they just do a shitty heal that doesn't really help you. Yeah, they they either do marginally okay or nothing. But healer is the most consistent of the not very good healers, so I think it goes into usually good. Yep. Uh, and my next one is Acolyte. I think Acolyte's the worst uh, tier one. I hate Acolyte so much. Uh, I think that's fair. <laughs> I think that's the that's a pretty bad one. But I don't she think is. I put it in Please No. I'm not I, bad. I I like, you put it in Please No? I don't I, know. Two Vitality's not bad. Yeah, but like everything else this character does is worthless. Yeah, Renew's a terrible spell. Yeah, it's pretty. I, I still put it in Need Support, but it's that's it's fair. it's on notice. <laughs> borderline mm -hmm. uh who is this this is mystic i know a lot of people hate on mystic but i'm willing to put mystic in the need support tier i think that's fair i think i think you know it's like a high roll thing where like you know if you hit the 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 heal shield it's like a pretty it's a pretty solid move yep and even even just like you know again you usually just in the early game you usually just want one mana out of your healer and that's usually all you can ask for and this does it 
fairly consistently. Mm -hmm. You have three mana sides in total, so you'll probably you'll probably get it. Yeah, maybe. And healing is good. Like the heal mana gain is nice. Sometimes it saves mm -hmm. you. And lastly, oh, one thing to note: oh, Mystics. Have you ever cast Gaze? Ever? Uh, sometimes. Every now and then, I'll have. But specifically, I think Gaze is nice if you get uh, Empty Chalice, because then it's a one mana spell to set you to zero. But oh, okay, yeah, and, like, sure. Very infrequently with Juggler, I'll click it, or if I have something like, uh, if I have Gambler, you can click it and then try okay. to hit your five. But no, I mean not really. Yeah, uh, for a second I mixed up Gambler and, and uh, Jester. I was like, what the? Or, or, or uh, Juggler and Jester. I was like, what yeah. the? Why, why does he? What, what, just flick. What are you doing? <laughs> I want three yeah. mana. Mm -hmm. I need it. Okay. Uh, the last character is Splint. Splint goes in the top tier. One of the better yep. starts. Splint is just a, a powerhouse tier one character. Yeah. It just it Splint says, here's five mana. Win this game. If you don't, it's your fault. Mm-hmm. And that's you. That's pretty strong for you know. Before we were like, oh, if a red makes one character, one mana, that's, that's pretty good. That's not bad. This is making way more. Yeah, sometimes three. Holy. Mm -hmm. And her spell is also super good. Bandage is like yeah. exceptional. Bandage is 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 quite a bit of a uh, power in one spell. Yeah. So pretty good. All right. So the blues. I've had the biggest shift in opinion across the board on the blues. Uh, mm -hmm. So my first tier is Mage, who I'm gonna put in the almost always good tier. I think that's pretty fair. It's yeah. it's either it's either that almost always good or just like the top of usually good. It's, I wanted to put it at almost always good because it is pretty solid. It's funny because you can almost say Mage either goes in almost always good or needs support because uh, he is a little bit hinge hinging on your uh, your red. But even if you have him with the bad one. I think that you just bank mana and you get to flare, and flare is super good. You can pretty much always get a flare off on turn two, you know. Yeah. Unless you you're in a fight where it's forcing you to burst defensively or something, I don't know. But like, yeah. you you should usually be able to survive turn one, stockpile some mana, turn two, do a flare, and that wins you the combat. Yeah. Now this is assuming uh, that you're playing on hard and you are playing into not one of the death curses like expensive mm -hmm. spells but yeah that's true and mage i guess he's also a little worse if you took mana debt but otherwise i mean he's fine mm -hmm. well that, that goes for every single blue character in the game so that kind of you know eh, cultist doesn't care about mana debt not as much but like still everyone cares about mana debt like all the blues care about mana debt a little bit yeah that's true uh my next is cultist by the way okay I'm gonna put Cultist in the usually good tier. You are a fool. <laughs> I I have found Cultist to be, he's good. Like he's usually good, but I don't think he's as good as I used to think. I think he's as good as I used to think. I think he's never let me down. He just cut starts to look bad. It's the usually good is that Cultist kind of depends on if your team can support him cutting a bunch of times. I find that even without cutting, I think just the mana generation is pretty solid. Yeah, he's it, he's usually good, is my feeling. I I think he's I think I think what puts him for almost always good for me is that uh, it makes a lot of other bad characters good too. Like it's good without support, but when you have some like you know, dabble or when you have a healer, right? So you can use the three mana heal on Cultus after he after he pains himself, right? There's just there's just like there's so many things you can do man yeah and i think that's fair i i just find that he's not so nuts like i'm not thrilled to see cultist but i guess I'm actually thrilled. i am thrilled to see cultist because it means i didn't low roll my blue yeah i guess that's true maybe, maybe there's a little bit of bias here because of the disparity between cultist and the rest yeah that are coming up here yeah but i i honestly think he's close to mage I agree. I think he is close. I think he's just like slightly below. Mm. Uh, I like I, got, I like him. Yeah, I like how I, spooky I, he is too. I, I like him too. I think he is cool. He's you know definitely... you know what it is though. I'm realizing Voyix, you think he's bald. It's like Probably. Buckler all over again. He's got that hood on. You can't tell, and you're just assuming the worst. Man, wait till we talk about Wanderer. Oh no. <laughs> all right. Okay. I mean, I I'm down. I, for me, student goes in the bottom tier. Please no. You know I, what? For me, we can just skip this real quick. I think both of these fuckers go in the bottom tier. I, I will give Initiate exactly one reason to not go into the bottom tier. 
Initiate means that you will never die on a bad curse to Bramble. And that's the only thing this character is okay about. Dude, I, I just think that you don't need to worry about Bramble. I've had him. I, I, I've, he's ended a few know. of my runs. Maybe if you have like a, like again, a super aggressive starting curse, like an ad wolf or an ad goblin. I can see yeah. Bramble being an issue. But beyond those, like, I don't know, man. I just don't think you need him. Well, you can, if you end up in a position where your early picks are like, say it's something like Cleric versus Whirl and uh, Juggler versus like, I don't know, Statue, for example, assume you pick Whirl. You can have that sort of a team on a bad curse have trouble finishing off Bramble. So you took you took world. You did this to yourself. I mean, I'm not. What, what I, I know. I know. I'm just. Oh, you, I mean, yeah. You, you took world over fucking cleric, though. Uh, uh, I, don't know. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I agree, but I think that initiate has a very small amount of value as well because cantrip means you made two mana, which is nice. But I, I think my opinion of this character would also shoot up if they had one more single use side instead of an X. <laughs> I think, you know what I would like? I would like one of those single uses to be two mana. I think that would, that would do too, it for yeah. me. Because then you could just, on one round, if other characters are rolling blanks, like against Bramble even, or whatever, you can then just go two mana into Gathering right away. Yeah, that's fair. The, the fact that it's so fucking hard to actually get this fucker to gather is so annoying. Yeah. Like, I, I, just, I just despise him. No, it's fair. I mean, I don't think this unit is good. They're definitely, I mean, to me, they're probably like bottom four, but. I I think having one good use case does not make you, uh, does not spare you from the please no tier. I, I just feel like initiate is like, okay. It's a it's better in longer fights, basically, because you can sometimes get a few growths off and the cantrip mana is decent, but they're not very good. I hate his ass. Yeah, it's fair. All right, into the tier twos, shall we? Mm -hmm. So I got Trapper first, who I have found okay. to be a lot worse lately. Interesting. I think I would put Trapper. Hmm. Before I would, I think Trapper was at like the very top of my list. I think I would put Trapper in usually good. I think that's a fair assessment. I would put him there too. Obviously, kill shot is a really cool thing. Yep. Uh, lets you bypass slates, you know, stone. Uh, lets you bypass like slimers on their on their their second slime trigger. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that is always really neat. Um, and and vulnerable is good, but this is sort of the same issue that uh, that thief has. Where really this character only has three sides. It has the kill shot and it has the two vulnerability sides. The growth shields, just weird, weird yeah. on this character. Very strange. And I agree. And dodge is not terrible, but you really want your oranges to be dealing damage. You don't need them to be too defensive. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, it's nice if you see Tarantus. And I've had times where I've had Trapper into Tarantus still. Many times. So it's nice to have a dodge. But um, I don't know. Yeah. Sus. No, I agree. So, I mean, you, you covered it very nicely. The problem is that this character has three sides. And sometimes the vulnerability side is not even that much damage, depending on your team. That's true, too. And sometimes... Kill shot is nothing because no one is at four health. Yep. It's it's uncommon. Usually you can almost always get someone to four health. Mm -hmm. But what if you're in like a Hydra fight? Uh, yeah. Like you, Hydra doesn't give a shit about vulnerability because you're killing it with five instances of damage anyway, right? Yeah. Um. So I mean, you're you're still doing a damage, but it's like you know. No, I agree. Yeah, you know, well, it, 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 it's it's a little sus. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know. Also, now that we're into the tier twos, we get to start thinking about item synergies. If there's anything worth pointing out, I don't think there's anything particularly for Trapper, but you know, I think Harpoon is fun because now it's even more consistent. Yeah, that is nice. And like mini crossbow, um, any of the left side replacers mm -hmm. are cool. You mean you mean you mean right side replacers? Right side. Yeah, he's right. He's right. I do mean <laughs> that. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it it, it is good. We, we we would be you know. Negligent to not mention the Trapper Herbalist combo. Yeah. Classic. That's that's strong. That, that's very a very strong. strong plan, for sure. Just, just um, kill Baron. He doesn't get to play the game. Yeah. One mana and one vulnerable, and that guy's dead. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, it's... Yeah, Trapper it's has usually, it is just usually good. Mm-hmm. But definitely not the game winner that it used to be. Mm-hmm. Uh... My next is Ninja. Okay. Ninja needs support. There is no doubt. 
like the definition of needs support. Needs supports poster child as ninja. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, this unit does super well with knight and scrapper. And if anyone types sinew in the comments, I'm going to ban you. And is pretty worthless elsewise. You can come to watch my videos. I won't ban you for that. I'll ban you for other things instead. Yeah, yeah, you. <laughs> They'll get banned for talking about liberalism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think there's something to be said about again having a dodge is not the worst thing in the world, but it's not mm -hmm. super amazing. Uh, you want your you want your orange to deal damage, and when you roll that double damage side, it's sick. You're doing four damage. That's very good. It's a very good rate, but you do really need some sort of uh, synergy with those copycats. Uh, and the problem is that I, I guess one thing to mention too is uh, something like something like Caldera or or Sparky, so that way you can get uh, yeah you can get mana gain on there as well, which is pretty worthwhile. But it it does feel bad of blind picking a ninja. Oh yeah, and then just being like, oh, I'll I'll just I'll just find synergies for it, and then just seeing nothing that combos with it, and you're like, this dude sucks so bad. Yeah, because by default, this character also has six HP and just gets fucking obliterated. 6 HP and does like an average of like 1.3 damage per round or something without any other support. So yeah, it is horrific. That's, that's abysmal. That's like, you know, that's like Scoundrel. Mm -hmm. And if I don't mention somewhere that you can also copycat Cantrip, I think Codecimal will uh, type to me. Copycat Cantrip it's, is also fine. Yeah, it's not. I, I don't I don't consider that a huge thing because like sometimes like Sometimes the or the sequencing will be like, oh, sorry, you rolled the you rolled the 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 ninja side first, so it didn't copy. Yeah, it happens. I don't know. He just always mentions cantrip when we're talking about copycat, so I want to make sure I get mm. it in there too. It's okay. You can make weird juggler. Um, my next is dabbler. Okay, I would say dabbler is usually good. Interesting. I think. Uh, it's a little lackluster for me, I feel like. But the problem, yeah. I guess, is that there's no really way to support it. Yeah. The simplicity so, is fine. But it's not as bad as please no. Yeah. So I guess I'll put it in usually good, but I feel like it's the lower end of usually good. Sure. I, I think that Dabbler's problem is that they have three sides, if I'm not mistaken, that are just, like, defensive, which is weird. Because it's two shields yeah, and a two, big heal. Two, two shields and the four heal, which is lower than... Isn't Dabble's heal five? It is, yeah. That kind is of funny, kind of funny that it gets lower, but uh, yeah. I don't know. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, I think Dabbler is cool because uh, Dabbler is like fine, right? You pick this early or you pick this because your orange doesn't matter because your blue is on a rampage anyway and you're fine with it. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to be upset because shielding two is fine. Dealing three and two is fine. Like there's always going to be something good for Dabbler to do. But you're right there aren't unless many items you roll there. heal unless you roll heal four and it's like oh shit yeah <laughs> I don't it can need heal. even then though after turn one you'll probably get something out of it mm -hmm. uh, also next... seven, seven hp is nice too yeah true seven hp is it's you know it's not six the bar mm -hmm. is like seven six is the number that you I, I think have. i think they do actually all have seven hp except for ninja <laughs> fucking loser mm -hmm. uh yeah i don't have anything else to say about dabbler no, pretty boring. Okay. Who's next? Rogue is my next. Uh, I I came around on Rogue. I actually think Rogue is usually good now. I it, it's, my... it's usually good in the same way that Dabble is really good, I feel like, in that it's just okay, man. I don't know. I, I think you're going to find that with a lot of the oranges. There's not, there's not too many knockout insane oranges, and I think that Rogue is, like, fine. You show up, you put up poison. Poison is good if you get stuck in long fights. You never roll X's. You, I keep. By the way, I keep right clicking on the tier list, trying to pull up the information about the characters, yep. and I'm going insane. Uh, but yeah, I think that you know, you never miss. Sometimes you hit four. Sometimes you dodge an important hit. It's okay. Sometimes you can't chip into a spiker. <laughs> yeah, it's not my problem. <laughs> I, I that, found that's really juggler's of, problem, but yeah, no, I, I don't care anymore about cantripping into spikers because I just blame the units. It's not my fault. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Anything else you'd like to say? Uh, I do think that this character is probably on average worse than Dabbler, but like it's really close. Yeah, but I, think I don't right. like. Also, what is what is Rogue wearing? Is it just like is that just her hair? 
That's definitely a bandana and a mask. I, the mask obviously is like a mask. I get that. Why is the bandana wrapped around like a like a turban almost? Like why does it keep going around? Maybe big head. Maybe maybe bald. Oh, bald and oh, or that could be hair. I don't think that's hair. What, what if it's like oh. Fran, Fran Drescher hair getting pushed down? So, so that little thing in the back there is that a ponytail or is it the the end of the bandana? And the end of bandana for sure, right? Bald. That's definitely bald. Then I don't know. I think this is a bald character. I could see it. Maybe I should drop anyway. her a tear. Maybe I would consider it, but anyway. Uh, next up for me is Spellblade, who I think is almost always good. Yeah, Spellblade, Spellblade's sick as hell. So good. Holds so many items too. Uh, imbue is is very strong. Oh my god, yeah, imbue is so busted. I hope that in 3.0, more off off blue and red characters have spells. Please, it's give so cleric neat. It's so, like, yeah, cleric should have a spell. I don't understand why they don't just have like I don't know a, a, a like a like a poultice or whatever, like something, yeah, something. Can bitch more about cleric. Can't wait mm -hmm. for 3.0. Uh, anyway, yeah, the, I mean, the, there's good like, character. There's like three or four tier twos that I think you can find yourself on regular runs keeping to the end, and Spellblade is one of them. I wouldn't go that far. I don't. I think in the late, in the, late, the very late game, I think Spellblade will start to fall off unless you have some sort of crazy synergy where you can put her imbue on, let's say Wanderer for example, just or or something like that, where it's like, oh, this imbue is giving me like you know plus six output or whatever or something crazy like that. Well, um, even. Even without that, though, I feel like all you need is a plus one, and suddenly this unit is better than any other orange at making mana for the rest of the run. Even Dabalist, because you're always going to hit two mana here instead of whatever Dabalist is going to do. Yeah, so. but I, I find that in cases like that where you do just want like a lot of mana, you're probably just better off putting that plus one on your other characters, like your, your blue character or your red character, and then just having your orange, you know, just do a more defensive role. But... Yeah. That's not bad either. That's cool as well. I don't there are it. there are some plus ones that your blues won't be able to use. Like if you have sickle, for example, which is plus one to all of the lowest sides, you yeah, can't put that yeah, on the lock. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And sit like gauntlet can also go on spellblade, things like that. So there's definitely mm -hmm. room where you keep spellblade to the end. But you're not wrong. Like it, you wouldn't put sickle on spellblade and then not put it on sorcerer, for example. Or wizard or whatever. Yeah. I think Spellblade is like the top end for sure. So many high rolls. It's just very consistent. It's like it's like in hard mode. I think something to mention is that you can just like outvalue your way to victory, right? You can just have a completely anti-synergistic team that just has good value on their rolls, mm -hmm. and that can just be how you win. And for like that sort of comp, Spellblade just does it because you're always getting like extremely good value out of the character. Yeah, I agree. Um. My next, I'm actually going to switch the order from what it is on here because I need more time to think about the next. My next here is actually going to be Ranger. Okay. Is that this character's name? Yeah, this is Ranger. That is uh, Ranger. Ranger, I think, goes in the bottom tier. Wow, that low. I, there's nothing that I can think of that I would want to put on this character that makes them better. I really, really don't want to get stuck on Ranger. They do fucking nothing. It's like if Gambler uh -huh. was worse. I, I, I say need support, but not in the sense of like what items is Ranger good for. I think of it more in terms of what curses does Ranger play well into. Things like Monster Pristine uh, yeah. and things like that where the spread damage is really useful. Uh, I find pretty solid. Or if your team is like uh, Caldera, like basically basically when the, the spread range attack is good is when I think Ranger is good, which is, you know, sometimes pretty often. Yeah, and um, I'm, I'm thinking about it. There's a lot of right side replacers. I should put this character in need support. I, I think it's a good spot for it. I agree. There's enough things where it's fine. And, you know, it, engage two is oftentimes four damage. And while I'm not good against ghosts, because it's not the four damage that you want, it does one shot zombies, which is pretty cool. It's a very, you know, it's not a reliable way to do it. There's definitely better characters to kill zombies with. It is a character that can, in theory, do it. And you can also temporary plus one into a three damage to kill a ghost, which is nice. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, of course, hitting the side. So, yep. but yeah, I, I think you're right. It is definitely needs support. I was being too much of a hater. Uh, yes. Man, I don't know about this one. The next one is Juggler. I think Juggler is going to go into usually good, but I was seriously considering putting Juggler in the top tier. 
I don't go that high just because of the presence of spikers. You see, you're gonna see a spike, a juggler. Or you're, you're gonna see a spiker on your run at some point, and juggler is going to uh, die. <laughs> it happens for sure. Uh, but pretty, pretty high damage output for an orange, right? Pretty consistently three to like five damage probably per round with seven HP is pretty crazy. Now you don't get to choose where that damage goes half the time, but um, that's still pretty good. Yeah, there's also a bunch of items that you might get stuck on from the early game that Juggler can hold. The big one to me is coin. I think mm, that item coin. is like, I love picking coin and then fucking myself over with it, but Juggler uses it well. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. It's a good one. Uh, twin daggers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I agree. And uh, but it's it, it, character. The biggest problem Juggler faces is sometimes you need damage and they roll X, Shield X, and you go, come on, Juggler, what are we doing here? Yeah, it can happen. You can low roll for sure, but... How, how do you feel about just cantrip shield size? Because like, there's like the Inkwell, which is the... That place all X's with cantrip shields. It's like a tier 6 item, I think. Yeah. I see that, I'm like, are you sure this is like tier 6, not like a tier 3? Like, I don't get like why this game values cantrip shield so highly. Yeah, it's. I think at two it becomes really good. Like it's very good on poet, and I think there's something to be said about cantrip shield or X's becoming cantrip shields where you can no longer roll an X, so you're always getting some value. But mm -hmm. it's like I would probably just knock it down a few tiers. I think it'd probably be like a tier five or four. Yeah. But yeah, there's not too many instances of it, I guess. I just think juggler just ultimately usually good a lot of yeah. damage can't control where it goes but pretty good but can fuck you over sometimes yeah funnily enough if you get the plus one damage plus heavy you do actually get to control where it goes for better or for worse mm -hmm. I don't know if it's good or bad I'm really not sure uh gambler another poster child for needs support for sure yeah, this is a character that I just will not take if I don't have something that already works with it, because I hate playing Gambler without support and just hoping that I hit it. Mm -hmm. The support being, you know, side replacers to clear out all those X's. The character basically has four X's, because yeah, the one damage side, when you see that, you're going to reroll it, because you're going to feel really bad keeping one damage on Gambler. Um, so it, it's annoying. <laughs> I hate Gambler. Gambler is a character where the asterisk I think Gambler needs to have is also there's like a secondary tier here which I would call the play to your out, play to your outs tier. Uh, I have had a few runs where my starting team is very low damage and my first pick was defensive. It was like Glacia, say, mm -hmm. and then if my second pick and I'm uh, is something like gambler versus cleric i have to pick gambler or not cleric cleric's like an, an obvious one it can be like gambler versus uh, let's say world well, not even world it's like uh, you know what would be a good one it'd be like gambler versus like fucking statue vampire, statue things like yeah. that things that are, are like monk monk is a good answer because monk is a traditionally good character who doesn't do damage that's mm -hmm. the sort of pick where you have to actually stop and go if i don't take gambler here i might just die because i don't do any damage mm-hmm and then you have to approach Gambler as uh, you never lock anything other than the five unless the two is enough damage to kill something. That's mm -hmm. the only way you can play this character. But Which is, in my opinion, not a very fun way to play the game. No. <laughs> Obviously, it is... if it's your only choice, you do that. But it's just miserable when that's the that's the line you're forced to take. Yeah, the, the Gambler note that you have to take is that sometimes you have to pick this character or else you just won't have the damage to complete troll or mm -hmm. uh, the fights after. But... You're not happy about it. Um, oh. Twin daggers, good. Yep. Uh, worn arms, good. Any... Uh, whatever. Whatever you want. Longbow. Any of the ones, any of the top bottom replacers, very good here. Glass also blade. does just hold the the right side replacers too. Uh, mini crossbow, yada yada, etc. Harpoon. Yep. All That's all the, great. All of the inconsistent characters, you're probably going to say something to the effect of side replacers are good, and you're going to be correct. Mm-hmm. Um, let's uh, let's try to rapid fire through the rest of the tier twos. I think because we are okay. we're, this video is going to end up being like three hours at this rate. That is true. Okay. I I don't have a ton to say about the yellows. Uh, stop me if you have anything uh, deep to say. I think Whirl is a very clear need support. He's very good on monster pristine and mm -hmm. or if you have a lot of boosts. 
same same as ranger right if you have yep. a caldera that can like really capitalize off yeah. of spread damage or things like that great if not a uh, fucking miserable character yeah for sure one of the lowest damage output characters in the game uh, mm -hmm. if you don't have anything for him but if you're into yeah. monster pristine or if you have like a supercharged fey he's okay mm -hmm. funny enough i don't know if you remember this but when i started playing this game i thought world was the best character in the game that's so funny. Yeah, I think I had one too many runs of armor or fey whirl, and I was like, this dude is crazy. What the hell? Mm -hmm. uh, Berserker, al almost always good. Berserker's yeah. like the god. Yeah, crazy. Just so consistent, right? You, you yeah. want four damage, this is your guy. He does it. He does four mm -hmm. damage. That's his job. He's so, and sometimes he even does six with Deathwish. What a guy. Mm -hmm. But he does have double axes, so sometimes he misses. But the big difference between him and Ranger, because they're very similar in terms of side setups, every one of Berserker's sides is something you want to roll, and not every one of Ranger's sides is something I you mean, want to sometimes roll. the cleave attack is not that useful. That's fair. Yeah, that is fair. But the other three sides are, like, so good. Mm -hmm. He's 50% all hits, where Ranger is sometimes, like, two good hits or one good hit, depending on mm -hmm. what you need. Yeah. Uh... I do want to take a second to think about Sinew. I think Sinew is a is Sinew is another character where it's not like needs support. It's like if I have to, right? It's it's a gambler. It's the same thing where you've got a low damage team. You're like, oh, yeah. I'm actually it's not gonna, that good, but I'm gonna make a new tier for this. I was thinking mm -hmm. throughout when I started this, I was probably gonna want to make a new tier. I'm gonna put a tier between needs support and please no, which is the if I have to tier. Okay. Because that's where Sinew is supposed to go, and that's where Gambler is supposed to go. And I think Ranger is also supposed to go there. I'm not putting Ranger, and you can't make me. No, I think, I think Ranger's better than Gambler and Sinew in that, that respect. But... That's fair. You can you can feel that way. But I am not happy to click these guys, and I don't think there's a lot of support for them that I want. It's just like, I have to click this, or else I'm not going to make it. Actually, no, I'm leaving Gambler back in need support, because I think Gambler is actually just pretty good if you have like a worn arms or twin daggers or whatever yeah you know what that's actually fair i agree so um, if you have the support for it it's good if you don't have the support you you know whatever i think another factor is how likely are you to have support for these characters there's a mm -hmm. lot of things that i think gambler is going to do very well with i don't think there's a lot of things that makes ranger like worthwhile the right side replacers aren't as impactful as like twin daggers to me but that's true the other thing of note that i would like to mention while on the subject though is that a lot of times twin daggers isn't like great on someone like gambler because you're getting very similar value from having twin daggers on your red a lot of the time mm -hmm. but uh i think that's all i have to say yeah up next yeah i'm, I'm gonna do four yellows in one go because these are basically all the same guy to me i think gladiator brute soldier and collector are all usually good and there's they all do almost exactly the same thing which is show up do some damage and not die i think brute is arguably almost always good i sure. feel like it's hard for brute to be bad he yeah, kind of just that. shows up and does consistent damage and uh leaves and that's pretty good although he does suffer from not being able to do four damage like ever if, if someone yeah. boosts him and his hammer can do four damage which is fine but like i i think he's actually just pretty solid yeah, no, I agree. I think they all they all do their job very well, but I don't think any mm -hmm. of them do it spectacularly. Soldier is like also on this crazy scale of usually good to fucking terrible, depending on what you have and what time you see him. So he might actually need to go and need support. I'm um, the two actually. Yeah, six HP is yeah. a pretty big oof for uh, for a yellow. Yeah, if Soldier had and two more, uh, one or two more HP, I think he would be usually good. Mm -hmm. But. Some yellows are... Cause one of your tier 2s will be at the end of your run in, like, floor 19, duking it out. And if it's Soldier, he is just a fucking corpse in every fight. Whereas if it's, like, Collector, he's probably doing fine. So I, I will say it's unfortunate to compare them because it's just, like, the, the evolution of one to the other. But I, I hate that, that, like, Hoarder feels like almost the same character as Collector. Yeah, I agree. Like, it's just, oh, it's got two more HP, but it also probably only does two damage per turn. Like, I don't know. The big thing about Collector that? that is worth mentioning is that he holds some of the weirdo high value items really well. Like Cursed Bolt, for like, example. Mm, or does he have Candy Bar good? Or no, he doesn't. None of his no. things have Candy Bar value. No, no, oh, yeah, no. I guess the, the focus does, I think, right? Isn't Candy Bar? It's, it's, one of the... it's Chain, Engage, Death Wish. 
Oh, and cruel. No, cruel. yeah, it's not appropriate. Cruel, cruel, They're both cruel. orange. Yeah. They're both orange. Fuck. Yeah, I, I was, I knew it was orange too, but I didn't think it was focus. But I was with it's you. cruel. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're right. So I don't know. He just he holds a lot of the weirdo items that no one else can use, which is nice for him. But eh. And then last yellow here is Scrapper, who I think is almost always good. I don't know if I feel as strongly about Scrapper. I might put it in the need support tier because I feel like you need a team that enables him better. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's like a thing where if you do enable him, he's like one of the best characters in the game. Yeah. Also has 8 HP, which is nice. That's so, really cool about him. My feeling, I think there's two big points about a Scrapper that are worth mentioning. Bloodlust is basically always going to be as much damage as you need. It's very easy for that to hit for. And his steel side is a way to convert your gray into damage on turn one, which is very nice. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my pick rate on him. It's pretty high. Yeah. So I'm actually going to put him probably in almost always good. I mean, I, uh, or or the top of usually good, but... Yeah, Maybe a good point that it's not hard. It's not actually hard to spread damage out to get that blood bus, uh enabled. Yeah, he's he's just his biggest flaw is that sometimes he goes XXX, but steel and bloodlust are both very good. So he has four good sides. So you shouldn't mm -hmm. have it happen to you too much. Also, a good enabler for ninja, yep. which is or, or just anyone with copycat sides. Like there's mm -hmm. there's there's some stuff there for sure. Mm -hmm. Plays well with a lot of like there's a lot of good characters that support mm -hmm. him too. Like fiend likes him. Caldera's I guess Caldera doesn't care. Uh, I guess it is just Fiend, actually, then. I guess Herbalist Fiend, kind of. Druid. Druid, uh, yeah, sure. But, you know, just, just people who can spread damage out easily, and then he he does big stuff with it. Mm -hmm. And like you said, too, converting shields into damage is also nice on turn one. Okay. Or turn two, if he's getting targeted a lot, or yada yada, right? Yeah, and he can hold, like, plus one shield items and go off. There's a lot of, like, low-tier but boost shield items, like, I think it's a uh, plus one to shielding on a tier three, and then there's the one shield yes. per turn. Silver Pendant, I think it is, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just pick those because it's better than randoming, and then he holds it because steel is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, I okay. agree. All right, that's the yellows. We can, there's a few grays I'm sure we're going to want to stop on. But okay. uh, if you have, I'll, I'll just go through and we can stop on the obvious ones. I think that armor is a very strong candidate for need support. Yeah, I think that's fair. He, he's very, Your highs with armor are very memorable, but what you don't remember is the fact that this guy has like no defensive capabilities, and if you don't have a good target for his smiths, he is worthless. Yeah, he does do three damage heavy, which is more damage than pretty much any of these guys ever deal. That's I true. guess like I guess Knight does three exert, Warden does two damage pretty consistently, and I would actually prefer a two damage over a three damage heavy, I think. I, we'll talk about Warden when we get there, too. But, yeah. Um, but I I, th I think, like, Armor has two good sides, right? Two maybe good sides, depending on your team, and then two pretty bad sides in the Cleave 1 Armor. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it can be it can be a very good character if it's the right team, or it can just... The, 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 the floor isn't terrible. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible either if you have no... It's not like Ninja. Like, Ninja, yeah. if you don't have any synergies, it's like fucking miserable this is at least still workable even if you don't have the the support for it something that i have realized lately is that your grays are not important to most of your runs this may be different for how you play because maybe you play defensively like you said no i i agree with this i agree yeah. with this That's so nice. some I, I will i will just make the point then I find that usually you're going to pick your gray because you don't want to spoil the other pick, right? So if you have a run that's very much looking at playing something like Sparky, for example, or uh, another good one is Caldera, right? Those are the two guys who really want mana. And your pick is, let's say, uh, let's say it's like Knight versus Vampire, right? You're probably just going to click Knight because you don't want Vampire because Vampire does not support your blue very well. You're looking for a better mana generator in your red, like like uh, herbalist or druid or something exactly so especially if called there if you have called there you definitely want druid mm -hmm. yeah so, so you're just kind of sitting there like the, the grays in general are not super impactful to me so you're just kind of like i'm not mad about clicking armor because i don't really care that much mm -hmm. but he's fine sometimes he can do a lot too he's one of the characters i think can end up at the end of your run mm -hmm. uh, and the like we said plus ones on things like engage mana gain is a big one to plus one because going from a one damage mana gain to a two damage mana gain is crazy mm. uh stuff like that 
So. I, I think just maybe armor, like, I think I think the, the thing is that at the tier two level, plus one isn't that valuable, but once you get your tier three characters in there, a lot of them have sides that are much more beneficial to plus one. Like you have uh, Wizard, which has like all these sides that can get plus one by armor, which is pretty good. You have Wander. If you get a plus one on your, your quad strike, then hooray. Right? You have like, you have more, you probably have more synergies open to you at that, that level. Yep, I agree. Yeah, he, he gets his he needs, little... su needs, su needs support, but definitely a, a better floor than most of the need support characters as well. Yeah. It, it, the need support, though, for him is not items. It's your team needs to want yeah. him, mm -hmm. basically. Exactly. Um, Monk is usually good. There's basically nothing to say about Monk, I don't feel like. Yeah, just, just solid value in your gray. Doesn't do anything wrong. Uh, if you have a, if, if you have something like, uh, like uh, what's his name? Uh, Scrapper. It can be a little annoying to not have good shield output on yep. him. Agreed. But that, other than that, it's not that big of a deal. And in fact, like the repel sides will help you often. You might you might be able to get damage onto a backline that you wouldn't be able to get to otherwise. So that way, you can enhance your your bloodlust even more. There's still some synergy there still. Mm -hmm. Mostly, I think what this guy does is he takes a t like takes a bunch of damage and dies, and that's good enough. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. My one thing I'd like to point out for this guy and Granite is they take that tier 4 item poison immunity super well. I think it's called Anti-Venom. Mm, That's yeah. a really nice combo. That is good. Um, my next is Bard, who I know is... I, I re so I read the tier list that the Unfair Windstreakers did, and I know that Bard is hated. I think he's pretty low on that tier list, but I think that Bard is okay. I, Bard might be in the if I have to tier. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's it's hard to say because nothing like Bard doesn't get support. <laughs> no, you never play a team when you're like, oh, thank God I got this character because now my Bard goes off. That doesn't happen. But Bard is useful if you have Ninja because you have the charge side, which can co combo with it. You have just Mana Gain on your blue, which is pretty nice too. It's better, you know, it's, it's a yeah. single use, but it's. It's two mana on your blue. That's on your gray. That's actually pretty sick. Yeah. Um. So I don't know if I just put it in usually good. It's either the bottom of usually good or I don't know. I, it's, it's not. It, it. 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 I don't know. I'm gonna land on needs support because I think Bard is good if you have a blue who cares about the mana, specifically uh, Sparky or Caldera. I think. Or if you have someone who wants the rerolls, like Juggler, or someone who's inconsistent, like Berserker probably likes this, mm -hmm. or Scrapper, or someone like Ninja who wants the charged. So I think like yeah. there are characters who care about seeing Bard and Bard will enhance, but a lot of times this character is nothing. I guess it, it, it's armor in that it's not like it's not like you need characters for Bard to support, not that yeah. the Bard support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes Bard, sense. Bard needs to have have a spot on your table. Like Bard mm -hmm. needs a seat. Uh, my next is Warden, who I think is usually good. Yeah, I'm a little bit softer on Warden than I used to be as well. I definitely put it in the usually good because it's not game breaking for you. Yep. Like four four armor and two damage. They're not terrible sides to roll. They're pretty good, but uh, it's just not like I don't. It's it's never. I never feel like I'm in a spot where it's like, oh baby, my Warden's doing two damage. I've I've won yeah. the fight now for sure. Now like, it, it is good though. Yeah. It is. It's, it's better than most Grays will ever do for you. Pretty much. <laughs> He's like, he's like the most boring, uninteresting character, and he's the best tier two gray. Mm. I would say he the uh, warden is this game's John Smith. Mm -hmm. He's an everyman, but you know, uh, I'm pretty sure last time I made a tier list, I put statue in its own tier, but a statue can just go in needs support. Yeah, that's fair. With with, with a tier list set up this way. It is. It is a. Uh, if I have a all blanks replace item, this character is pretty solid. If I don't, it's <laughs> horrible. Yeah. Or not even not. Even, you can do it without an all replace. If you just have two different side replaces that cover like two to three of your square, or, th or let's say three to four of your squares. If you can get three to four of your squares covered up, statues a pretty good character. Assuming they're not just like literally abysmally terrible sides. Yeah. You can put like a long bow and a short sword on this character. That's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, a pretty good character. Just because it has a huge HP pool, but um, you're not, you know, it's not doing the job that Gray usually does, obviously in that position. So you have to be careful that you don't just, you know, 
run into like a three fanatic fight and then just your half your team is dead on turn one. <laughs> yeah, that so. shit's not fun. Um, I don't know. I think that one thing a lot of people say, I've seen this sentiment a lot of times. I picked statue and then it just did the job of my gray because it got hit a lot. That I believe this is called sampling bias. That I mean, shit it's, doesn't happen. it is important to know. You know. It's important to note that your statue will have the most HP. So if you get into a lot of the combats where the enemies have a lot of heavy hits, and you see like, you know, a bunch of gnolls, uh, you know, you go into the sister fight, whatever. Statue will do the job of tanking pretty well because it'll just attract a lot of heavy hits. Yes. But um, outside of those situations, no. You're yeah. easy to get crushed. Yeah, they're going to die. I, I think the biggest time that I would ever consider taking a raw statue is into the triple sisters fight because that fight is so scary sometimes and mm -hmm. statue is very good at it. Mm -hmm. But I think two, if you have two side replacers or even just glass plate, I would probably click on statue because suddenly you have Gambler, who I think is okay, but uh, with like three times the HP, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I have Cleric next, who is in the please no tier. I'm going to make you angry, Voix. Oh, yeah? I put I put Cleric in the if I have to tier because Go on. I think I think two heal, two shield is actually a pretty strong side. I that's my the end of my argument. <laughs> I have been you and I I did this a few times. I took cleric like three or four times back to back and I was like, let's see how bad it could really be. I lost every run. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Cleric is cleric has like the highest defensive value of any of the tier two grays, except for I mean, technically guardian has the same because if you can contextually hit the four, it's good. But contextually, cleric has six HP and the only thing that cleric is going to be contextually doing is dying. Yeah, it's not good that you only have 6 HP on it. I'm not going to deny that. But I find that there are teams, if you have like a Fiend, or if you have like a like a, a Berserker, if you have people that have uh, Pain Sides, that Shield Heal is really strong, man. It's good. But yeah. this is not a good character. This is, this, is, this is like a... Again, it's like a, you know, oh, I really need a better blue here for my, for my Tier 2 pick. And I saw like, I don't know. Maiko and Cleric and I'm like really looking for like an actual mana payoff on my team like then I'll take Cleric here or whatever. Yeah and I think there is some theory to it uh, I would like this character more with one or two more HP I'm sure. Or yeah. or a spell. Yeah, it's a, a Cleric spell. give it a spell. Dude, you know you know what would be a really cool spell for Cleric actually one mana gain two max HP single use. That would be cool I agree. Then you could just like, it's like they took the two max HP off of Cleric and put it on someone else. That'd be neat. Or it's mm -hmm. flexible anyway. And it would give you something to do with that one mana if the Cleric rolls the one mana. It's like, oh, I, you know, yeah. boom, here's some health. That'd be cool. Hmm. I agree. But I, I still think Cleric is very bad. I think they are, it's hard to make me want to play this character, but uh, it's just like first bard basically to me. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to describe it, I think. Uh, my next character is Knight, who I think is usually good. I agree. It's the same argument before as like most of the other greys here, where it's like, eh, you know, it's not yeah. it's not going to kill you to take this. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, in the past, I have said, who is shielding Knight? And the answer to that question is almost always burst. Mm -hmm. It is so. almost always burst. And sometimes your Knight is dying by one, and then like he's taking a nine, because I think he's an eight HP character. He is. Mm -hmm. So if he's getting hit, getting hit for 9, you can burst him up to 10 and then shield someone else for 5 and suddenly you got great value. So, good for him. Mm -hmm. uh, lastly, I would put Guardian in the if I have to tier. I put Guardian in the please now. I think Guardian's worse than Cleric, man. I, I just think that Guardian is inoffensive. I hate his ass. I hate his stupid helmet more than anything. Yeah, he does have and hair though. You That could be a wig, you don't know. That's true. I, I just I don't respect him, man. I feel I like fair. I feel like I just I don't know. Like the 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 engaged shield side is really only useful in like turn one because most of the time I mean like it's not only useful in turn one, but like no, oftentimes it loses value quickly. Cleave is is a pretty weak side. The the, like the cleave damage is a pretty weak side, and like the cleave shield is situational. I I think the so. cleave shield is super good, but I also think that the engaged two shield is probably the funniest side in the game. You got I hit. Know. I'm not helping you. You know what <laughs> so, I think is the funniest side of the game? And it's one I just saw recently. What's that? 
I think I think shield uh, regen health is the funniest. I had oh, the uh, yeah. change of heart on on herbalist. Yeah, that was and seeing good. that it has its own special little logo for when it's a shield with regen on it, I thought was pretty funny. Yeah, but this is the second place for sure. And funniest side is the stupid I, fucking shield, dude. I, I I just think that guardian is he's he's not gonna die as often as the other uh, shitter in this tier or in this unit set and. I don't know. Shield 2 is cool, but I mean, I'm not happy to click this guy. It is if I have to. And like you said with Cleric, it's just I don't want to pick the other character, so I'm going to click Guardian because I have mm. to. I'm more angry about clicking Guardian than Cleric, though. I'm similarly angry about both. I'm slightly more about Cleric, though. Okay. Uh, let, let's do the reds in a batch here, if you don't mind. I want to do yeah. two reds together, which are Herbalist and Druid, who I'm going to both put in the almost always good tier. Uh, I'm a little skeptical about Druid. I think that it's either top of usually good or almost always good because it has just solid sides for a red. Yeah. I, I think balance, if you don't have good synergy, is a little bit weak. Agreed. Right? If you don't have a way to capitalize off of spread damage, if you don't have Bloodlust, if you don't have, I don't know, whatever, Caldera, yada yada, I think it's a little bit of a weak spell. Um, But it's good. It, it, good sides in general. I guess I can put it in always good. I don't know. Yeah. Intuitively, I'm just happy to click either of these units. Uh, mm -hmm. So I would say, cool, basically. Yeah. Like Druid, I think Druid actually has the better sides than Herbalist. I think the Regen one is pretty. I think worthless. I think I think that's fair. I think Herbalist just has the better spell, which is why. I oh think yeah, I mean, like Herbalist more. It's fun. It's so crazy. It, I feel like if I showed this game to someone, I don't. I don't think Ryan has ever played this. I should show Ryan, uh, like every spell in the game and ask him to pick or i should show him like three and i should ask him to pick what the best spell in the game is because i'm 100 percent certain it's vine and it is not a close call i think salve is arguably better yeah i can see that i, I, there's, I there's some spells that are better but like vine just is it's funny how strong it is you're right the, the flexibility crazy. versus burst is just it is insane it, how, it how is, much that matters it is so nuts but yeah, maybe I'll send them that after we finish this video and I'll say what there, we're there's, there's a very common thing in Magic the Gathering where they'll have people who play like Yu-Gi-Oh or whatever try to evaluate yeah. cards, like, like cross games. You should do that with him where he's like, oh, oh, how good is this character? Wait, that's a great idea. I'll see if he wants to do that. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Um, but yeah, anyway. The only thing that I think is worth mentioning for Herbalist is that the one poison sometimes really clocks in as like way better than expected. But yeah, if you're in a boss fight and you see this turn one, it's like, oh yeah, sure, I'll put one poison on the boss, and like it, it ends up doing you like five or six damage overall to the boss over the combat. It's like, oh, that was pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Regen's a little bit weak though on Herbalist. I think that's fair to mention that the, the regen sides on Herbalist are pretty bad unless you can boost them. Yeah, or if you're going long, regen is fine. It's not bad to do. Mm -hmm. But it is. Um, it, I mean, the growth is the weakest side on Herbalist, but whatever. Yeah, that's true. No, yeah, sorry, I forgot that was there. <laughs> I thought it was an X. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I have Fey next? next, who I think I, I would. I think Fey is borderline into needs support, but I'm gonna put into usually good. I was thinking the same thing. I agree yeah. actually, because I feel like even without support, Fey's weekends are usually pretty good. It's usually yep. a, a good enough reason to keep her around. If you can do cool stuff with the burst, that's or with the uh, with the uh, boost, that's also nice. The one heal mana gain is a little bit on the weaker side for sure, and having only five HP is a huge issue. Yeah. Um. Don't take Fey and Statue, basically, is the is the is the secret here. Yeah. Because you're gonna your Fey's gonna die at some point. But uh it, it's fine. So it's pretty good. Real quick, I will I, I had this as a much more robust theory. It's fairly antiquated now, but I had the I had a prior theory about tier two reds and blues, which was the two two mana theory. Which is basically to say that uh you either pick herbalist like depending on who your blue is you're either picking herbalist druid or disciple because they're the ones who generate mana consistently specifically to pair with caldera sparky or uh evoker this theory has shifted because i realize that evoker is kind of a fucking loser uh, how dare you he's he's a bit of a bald bastard he's not even bald he's, he's honorary bald though but basically, the theory is just that you should not click Fey if you've already locked into Sparky or Caldera because she will not give you the mana that those two need. And similarly, if you have Fey, you should not click Sparky or Caldera. Like, there's a bit of an incongruency mm -hmm. there because blue and red is yeah. a very symbiotic combo. They are. But, absolutely. I agree. Yeah. So that's what you have to look out for. Fey is like... The way that I think about it is like supportive versus carries. Your red plus blue can carry if you have big damage, which is through mana, or they can support your other characters like Fey does. 
and like you said, the only reason that Fey doesn't go into the need support tier is because one damage weaken is one of the most powerful things you can do in this game. Yeah, if a if a troll tries to fart on you, you just say boop no, and then you're like, yep. oh, I get a free I get a free turn now, sick. Yeah, or oh man, I'm losing to basalt. Never mind. What if you just did took your turn off? Thanks, loser. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Fey is a character that I would consider keeping to the end if I get pocket phylactery to give HP or plus ones as well. Maybe, yep. honestly, probably needs both, but. Phylactery, extremely good on, on Fey. That's an important one to mention for sure. Ooh, also, real quick, I'll give you a fun uh, an aside. If you want to try hit an, to hit an Exodia, you can play Infiniheal, which is the six man, the tier six item that makes your side apply to everyone. Into, but, but it maintains keywords, right? Yeah, maintain, yeah, but it maintains keywords. You can play that plus Time Stone, which is cantrip the right two sides plus oh, a real side. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you get you get an AOE boost cantrip on your character. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sick. And then if you have anyone with a reroll uh, cantrip, you can go infinite off of that. Mm -hmm. That's pretty I cool. That. I, I got it once. It was pretty fun. But uh, yeah, uh, hey, vampire like vampire I think is usually good. Yeah, not it's it, it's it doesn't synergize well. I think this is like what I was saying before about like sometimes a team can just be good enough that they don't synergize well and they can kind of just beat everyone's ass. Yep. Vampire fits well into that role where it's like it the spell is pretty good. It do, your red doing two damage per turn is pretty solid and vampire mm -hmm. pretty much does that. Yes. Uh the five heal is kind of worthless and the the AoE vitality heal pain thing. I think that was really weird and sometimes good but usually does nothing for you. Yeah. Um, but it's just a pretty solid red, just in general. Yep, I agree, across the board. Uh, also holds Scalpel, which is nice, because I think Scalpel is one of the better items, but you have to call your shot a little bit. Mm -hmm. And also it falls off super hard, because no tier 3 wants it, but that's for later. Yeah. Um, I have Disciple next. I really don't know what I think about Disciple. What do you think about Disciple? Disciple is like... You mentioned it before about how sometimes you have a really mana hungry blue like 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 Sparky or Caldera yada yada. I think that for those, it, it fills the same role as Druida but just worse. I think. Yeah. Where the double heal sides are are blank on turn one usually. Revive is. I mean, if it saves you, that's great. But it's usually you know, does nothing for most of the combat as well. Um. It basically this character for a lot of your fight will only have two sides and the rest being blank also has a pretty much worthless spell like obviously up glow can sometimes be really good but that's pretty few and far between so i i i think i would maybe put disciple in the if i have to tier yep i agree being I... Like, it's like it's like if i have to take this to support my super mana hungry blue character but i'm not happy about it and there are other characters that do a way better job of this yes i agree with you uh, hearing your reasoning i'm 100 percent with you this is an if i have to for sure mm -hmm. um yeah i i think you're right the only thing really is double use is sometimes nice but yeah this character is like if, if you you're... have like a berserker uh mm -hmm. and you're like oh pain to immediately heal you on turn one that's nice that's not a terrible line yeah, it's but okay. outside outside of like those sort of situations where you have like a character inflicting a lot of damage to itself, turn one, this character spends a lot of the game having two mana sides and then just a bunch of X's on their dice. Yeah, basically. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. I, if you ever are in a position where you're using the revive, you probably had something go wrong. And if you're using glow, I don't know what you did with your team in the first place, but like yeah. something's gone even worse wrong. I feel like you're spending mana to get your other characters' X's into heal shields. What what is happening here? Yeah, something is wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, I have priestess next, who I'm putting in the mm -hmm. please note here. I really don't like priestess anymore. I had priestess actually do pretty good work for me recently, but that was a a, a psycho bizarro run. I'm pretty sure, and I do agree that priestess should be in the in the please note here. It's a pretty Pretty terrible character. Yeah, in terms of survivability, Priestess has, like, pound for pound, I think, the best spell in the game. Mm. But the situation where it it's, is the it's, best spell it's in the bandage, game... Or... It's, it's bandage when your characters are dying, which is when you want to mm. use bandage in the first place. And that's a lot of value onto a single spell. Mm -hmm. uh, but how do you make the mana for it? The answer it's is... It's not Priestess. The, there's exactly one correct answer to that question. Is it... I don't know, 
Glacia, I guess, no. like in a, like a defensive team. His name is Seer. Oh, I guess so. Eh. It's because you're never dying on turn one, so Seer always gets the ability to start the four tail chain, and then you cast as many uh, priestess casts as you need to survive, and the rest of the mana goes back into four tail, and you just sit there in equilibrium forever until you kill. But it that, that, that does make sense. That does make sense. Your team is immortal, and you're very sad throughout. But <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, Priestess has okay. the best defensive capabilities in the game. And if you're in the position where you need it, your run is just fucked. So, mm -hmm. you know, good luck. Yeah. Uh, Medic, I think, is if I have to. Yeah, I don't fuck with Medic either. I don't I don't get this. It's like, actually, it might just be in Please No for me. I don't know, man. I originally thought she was please no, but heal to cleave is insane value. It's six health back and you can almost always get the value out of it. And renew is also a very good spell, but a I don't lot fuck of time, with renew. I don't know. It, it lets you set a character to six, which is nice. You can escape a lot of garbage because in the best case, renew is two mana for five defensive, which is good. But I don't know. The problem is that this character does nothing on turn one, so. You know. I don't know. I I I hate medic. I, That's fair. Something is abysmal about this character. Uh, you, know what, you know what it is, right? We we're talking before about like, oh, these ones go on the team where you need a lot of mana. These characters don't go on that team. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like medic doesn't go on either team. But I feel like she only pretty, she has one she has the one two mana side, but her spell is not that good. I feel like I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong about renew. But like her spell is like kind of meh. She doesn't make much mana. She doesn't even support that much outside of the heal cleave. And even then, heal cleave does nothing on turn one. Like, I just I just don't fuck with medic, man. I don't know. If you like to play slow, I think medic is good because she has so many ways to generate a lot of value uh, in terms of healing. But she is kind of like, eh, at the end. Maybe I've just been gaslit into thinking that I play slow. I don't know, because I don't fuck with medic, man. So if you, I mean, try her out, honestly, is what I would suggest. Next time you see her, just give her a shot, because you'll be surprised. I was very surprised when I picked her for the first few times, because Heal Cleave 2 does a lot more than you'll think, and I find myself a lot of times in positions where uh, I I would just sack a character, and instead I can press Renew and delay by a turn. Like, normally if I had a different red, I would just let the character die, but Renew is suddenly insane. I, I guess I guess two mana to effectively heal five, right? Assuming they're at one health, right? Two yeah. mana to heal five is an insane rate for healing. That's yeah. good, obviously. And even but, at like four or three, it's pretty solid. Yeah, I, bleh. Yeah, I, no, I say bleh. It's fair, but I think it's worth it to give her a shot because she's a little better than you think. Not a lot, but mm. she's not bleh. as bad. Yeah. Uh, Enchanter is the Enchanter is actually this is the fucking story of picking this game up again. Enchanter goes in the need support tier. I I'm, haven't had my Enchanter Renaissance yet. I still kind of don't fuck with her. But uh, I'll I, let you. I'll let you. I'll let you uh, talk your shit, King. Let's see. Okay. It. I was very shocked because I have been the lifelong Enchanter hater, but. If you have anyone who has pain, this character is nuts. So, so good with those sides. But the big news about Enchanter is that you are eternally one of the plus one items away from this character carrying your mid game. Uh, not necessarily carrying, but doing a lot better than you expect. Because suddenly, if you have like Blinding Bullet, you have a two, dam or two heal boost, which is an absurd. If you have Unholy Strength, you have a two heal shield mana gain and a two burst or a two boost. So I I think the one thing that Enchanted really has going for her is the fact that Wings also is a crazy rate of healing without needing yeah. to jump through many hoops. Yeah, like you can times... just you can just you can play around having Wings. You can just intentionally only shield your your middle three characters, mm -hmm. let your top and bottom take more damage, and then just wing them back up the next turn. Yeah, um, I think that's a really strong thing Enchanted has going for her. Uh, and obviously, if you have Pain sides, sure. But outside of that, I just, I don't know. I don't like having to rely on putting plus ones on Enchanter. I think I'd rather just put them on different characters and have a different character here instead. So the but. problem with that idea, specifically with like Blinding Bolt and Unholy Strength, is a lot of characters can't use them where Enchanter can. That's the biggest issue. Like basically having it so that Enchanter gets to take all of the burden of no healing or damage taken up. Mm. But then 
anyone can reap the plus two boost benefit is very nice. Now this is putting a lot into a single side, I recognize, but the rest of Enchanter isn't so bad. So, I don't know. This character- I still say meh. I, yeah, but it's not like never pick this. This is the worst yeah. character in the game. I There was a time where I would have played Set Enchanter as like the 99th worst character in the game. And now I think she's just like, I don't know, probably somewhere in the 80s. Also important to note, only only red character here with 8 HP, which is nice too. Yep. Yeah, the health is also a huge shock. Mm -hmm. This character lives so much random shit. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you want to run through the blues? Yeah, so... Uh, uh, again, stop me if you have anything important to say that you feel is like, uh, you know. Mm. I mean, we're going to stop and talk about them, but I don't have a ton to say about like Jester. I think he is, if I have to, probably. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Not terrible mana output, but annoying to play with. Yeah. And uh, just just OK. But like, it's not like the it's not the mana sync you're looking for. And it's not like the big mana generator you're looking for either. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of this weird middle ground position. I think if you if I have to, it's fine. Yep. He falls into this spot where if the rest of your team is not like if you're locked in on something like Berserker, you like this guy a little more because reroll helps him not miss as much. But it's like you pick this character when you don't need anything important from your blue. And otherwise, he is just such a fucking joke. Yeah, it, it's it's like it's like the good stuff team, right? Where like Jester mm -hmm. actually does a pretty good job on that team where it's just like, oh, I don't really need anything in this team. I just need good value. And Jester will probably honestly bring pretty good value because Flick is a pretty strong spell. Um, And he usually makes at least one mana. Sometimes he makes three. Yep. So that's usually that's actually, you know, actually. Maybe I just want him in usually good. It's either it's either if I have to, or maybe I'm like actually putting him in usually good tier. I don't know. I think he would go up a few tiers with more health, but six HP makes it hard for me to like yeah, this guy for more. That's fair. Yeah. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Stinky. Yeah, and so sometimes he's just gonna do nothing for you. Also. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, he's is... not he's not good into a late fight because he yeah. uses his single use size and then he becomes nothing. Anyway, yeah. sorry. No, Who's no, up? no. You're right. Don't don't apologize. It's all good. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. Um. I don't know what I feel about Maiko. I think I Maiko, fucking hate this. I he's like. <sighs> I think he's worse Jester. I'll say it. Boom, worse Jester. I think he's the same thing as Jester does, but worse. I'm gonna put him in need support. Nah, I hate his ass. I I respect your stance. He's bad in long fights, but I think the the two things for Maiko is sometimes he'll bail you out if your team is just gonna die a lot. Uh, Revive is very strong in bad runs and. Also, plus one is very strong. So if your team is like, or, or is a good spell, but it's the same thing with uh, with uh, Jester, where it's like he's he's make he's, he makes an okay amount of mana, but he doesn't have a good sync for that mana. And he once you use those mana sides and they shrink down quite a bit, he's got like a one growth and a one shield side. Like ah, he doesn't do much. I don't know. I, it's, he's I think the character that Maiko is most like is Splint, where you're just taking this big upfront value. The difference is that. It's worse later in the run, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I think it, I think it's bad news voice if you're saying if you're comparing a tier two character favorably to a tier one character. Hey, Splint is really good. So I know I agree. I agree. Splint is very good, but you know broken. it's like this is a tier two character. It should it should be by default better than all the tier one characters. The fact that we're like it's pretty similar to this tier one character is not yeah. a good sign. I don't know. I, I think Maiko is good because he has Spore, and sometimes I revive out of bad situations, but he is basically two sides, which is tough. Mm -hmm. uh, I have Fiend next, who I think is almost... He's usually good. He's very close to almost always good, but I'm going to put him in usually good. Yeah, Burn Burn is a surprisingly strong spell. Mm -hmm. It's also really good if you have a Pristine Curse. Yep. It's, like, it's, like a, it's like the best character in the game if you have a Pristine Curse. Right, because then it's yep. like it's like, oh, I can always hit the backliners no matter what. All I need is one mana. Mm -hmm. and That's he usually makes pretty it. solid. He always makes it, pretty much. And um, I like Fiend because he opens you up to picking something like Fey very comfortably. Yeah, it's nice to have the the circle so that way he keeps himself healed, mm -hmm. and he makes the mana for the circles pretty consistently. Mm -hmm. And it's good it's good stuff for sure and he's also something um, where if you have like scrapper you're gonna want to lock him in too yep he does have the issue of not having a great mana sync though because you only use burn once yeah but that's not that big of an issue because the amount of mana he makes combines with pretty much you know it, it, it works well with any other red character 
Yeah, you're because you you're good. You're okay in the mid game with just putting it all into burst. Yeah. Like you don't mind bursting down bones on the lich, but you don't want to be bursting hexia. Is the mm -hmm. difference? Yeah. Uh, I have Glacia next, who goes in the almost always good, probably the best supporting hero in the game. Yeah, pretty pretty good character. I like I like the the consistency. I like the the access to weakens, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the only natural. I mean, I guess no, actually, Gas has it. But one of the only natural weakened twos in the game. Yeah. Not honestly, not as important as I. I think I think if, I mean, okay. So here's the thing, right? If if chill was a not a single use but a cooldown spell so you can only use it once per round but it was one damage instead but two mana still do you think that'd be better or worse i think it'd be better yeah i think that'd be crazy honestly I, the value of glacia is that you get weaken on demand yeah exactly you just be like one again it's like it's like a it's two mana skip a skip an enemy turn mm -hmm. a lot of times mostly you're weakening to stop a summon so just I an aura is like a cleave attack. Yep. So you're just going like, hey, this big game ending thing doesn't happen now. The end. Yeah, I'll, I'll oftentimes have like fights where it's like, oh, there's a slate here and it's doing a two damage spread. And I use two mana to prevent 10 damage. Yep. Like, that's just insane value. It is very good. But, you know, if you need damage and you're late into your run, like if you're sitting on soldier and shit like that, and you're sitting there going, man, I do no damage. You probably don't want to lock Glacia in. That's your big caveat, right? You have to be, like, mm -hmm. thinking about that. I can't tell you every single one of the situations that will arise, but what you want to do is you want to start thinking about that if you want to get better. Mm -hmm. I have Caldera next, who I'm going to put in the... <sighs> I think he's usually good, but he's close to almost always good. I put Caldera in always good. Hey, fair. Even if you don't have a great payoff for Scald, I think the sides on Caldera are just good enough. Uh, yeah. You're oh, you're pretty much either always making mana or you're doing six damage, which is I think pretty good for a tier two blue. No, um, I I don't disagree. Like two mana is a good rate. One mana gain, one damage is great. It's also helping you to enable future Scalds because uh, you're chipping in at someone, and the next turn you can probably Scald them. Uh, and then three damage single use cruel is just a, a, a amazing side. So I like Caldera a lot, although six HP is low. Yeah, he's a little bit of a squishy guy. But they they're they're on the outside, so the only thing they're really threatened by is, is flank attack. So if you're against like Slime Queen, it's a little bit scary. If you're against uh, the fucking Basalt, it can be a little bit scary. Yeah. If you're, if you're against an enemy with like very strong flanking moves, it's not the best case. But um. You can usually still make it work. My favorite thing about Caldera is when I have him versus Lich and we get to do fun lethal puzzles where you just blow up mm -hmm. the whole board. Scald, scald, scald. Yeah, love that guy. Mm -hmm. uh, Evoker. This guy goes in the if I have to tier now. I agree. I actually agree with that. It, it is it is gambler, but like... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the same tier as gambler. I think mean, it is just blue gambler, right? The difference is that you, mana is inherently a lot more valuable and much harder to get. So, like, giving Gambler shit, like, two damage on the top is very similar to what Gambler's doing already, whereas giving this guy two damage is a lot different. That's true. I I just want to know what fucking psyop I went on last year where I thought this guy was, like, the best blue. Because I was such a big Evoker fan. And then I I came back to the game thinking that, and I played him a few times, and I went, this guy is fucking awful. Yeah, uh, it's it's definitely annoying. Uh, I, I think I like him a little bit more than you, though, because I think I think it is just like it is as simple as if I give him Warren Arms if I and I squint, he's basically gambling with Warren Arms, which I do like quite a bit. Okay, I, yeah, I think it's fair. fair to say that if you can support him well enough, he is actually a pretty good character. Drop, it's a fun spell because it bypasses backline, which is funny when that happens. Just fucking dropping an anvil on a sniper is always funny. Uh... But it's it's not the most amazing. It's very it's a very restrictive spell. It's important to remember how restrictive the spell is. It only hits the top unit. Sometimes yeah. you don't want to hit that guy. So I don't know. I hate this guy now. I'm That's, like you know. he's probably my least favorite blue. Wow. Tier, tier two blue. Sorry. I don't. I would rather have him over student. Mm -hmm. uh, I have Sparky next. Who I'm Sparky sweet baby. He's need, he's in need support. 
Uh, where do I put? I think honestly, I maybe just put Sparky in if I have to. I don't know. I'm just I'm just annoyed at trying to roll for the uh, the two. I, I, you know, if I'm being fair, it should be a need support because if you have one of the good mana reds, like you have Herbalist or Druid, he's pretty good. Being a, being able to get early value out of those like or consistent value out of those charge sides does make Sparky pretty strong. Yeah, even all the charge sides really need to do is like two or two or three damage mm -hmm. to be good. Yeah. And I always say this every time we talk about Sparky, he has the best side of any tier two. Yeah, in the we game. get it. We get it. Two damage mana yeah. gain is a good side. It's, Stop telling me about it. It's so good. But Stop telling me about it. I don't care. The real reason Sparky is good is because I also think he has the best spell that any tier two has, except for like maybe imbue. Well, Zap is fucking uh, nuts. Ch chill is better. It's close. I might actually prefer Zap. Wow, okay. Zap is super good. You get to do so much with it. Just saying kill this 4 HP enemy. It's Trapper, but on demand. Well, yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. The I'm... the demand is just that you have to bank mana. Uh, mm -hmm. Sparky also, I think, becomes very good if you start it off with, like, uh, Tattered Robes, for example, or mm -hmm. Powdered Mana, or if you happen to hit Natural, he's just very nice with all of those. Yeah, but like that's that's most of the blues, man. Almost all the blues are like, oh baby, we got Natural, hell yeah, let's go. Natural is true, yeah, so, but like the the Wizard Robes is one, the one where I was like, most blues can't hold this, but Sparky really can, which is good, and he yeah, likes the plus one mana cap. But mm -hmm. it's it's like a very niche. I just think that Sparky is a lot better. I used to think Sparky was down there at like the very bottom, so. I like him a lot more now. I think I put low tier God in the need support tier. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where he belongs. That's fair. But I, but I don't, I don't, I don't think he's that amazing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he's like super amazing. I just think he's a lot better than I once thought. He's like probably uh, like the fourth in my mind for blues now. Uh, I put him probably at fifth. Sure. Anyway, Somewhere around let's, let's go. Let's go to the yeah. last one. Uh, Seer goes in if I have to tier. I think I put him in need support tier as well. I think Seer can be pretty strong on a, on a defense oriented team. Sure, I can believe it. Um, I, I I think the difference here is if you like playing defense or not. Because I would say if I have to play this defensive run, maybe, I would do it. Maybe. I, I think it's fair, a perception fair. thing. I I think that. Defense just sometimes falls like you sometimes you stumble in the mid game when you have some bad rolls, whereas uh, offense, I guess you just get a second chance sometimes. But it, this, the merits of these different strategies is not uh, all that exciting. To you know what? About. I think I, I think Sears a lot like split. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I think I think making three mana is pretty good. And Seer does that. And yeah. The end. As he and you know what Seer does with that three mana? Sometimes makes four mana. That's true. He's Which is a bigger number. He's a very good guy because you can just say, "Here's my plan," and in like ten turns, this boss is dead. But mm -hmm. he, there's, he's also the biggest problem I think I have with Seer is that there's a lot of curses that if you took, you cannot click Seer. Like if you have Doom or yeah, Sandstorm, Doom you cannot or, or anything guy. with every three turns, make a monster. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah, all those, all those, well, which are usually are oftentimes free wins. Uh, this character does not like those curses. So yeah. Uh, it's he's all right, but mm -hmm. I, it's definitely I feel like I'm settling if I click on Seer. Okay, who's up? Uh, let's go. We got Assassin, who is like I, I would say usually good. They're not carrying you, but they're fine. Is my feeling. I I agree. I agree. I, I've seen some. It's a, it's a nice mix. I've it's seen it's a, a nice mix of, of it's a nice mix of power because like oh you're against Hexia, you throw poison down early and then you just like you know eventually Hexia will die mm -hmm. uh, but i think a little bit weak maybe into the hand pretty good yeah. pretty good against dragon because you can take out uh all of the the guys with with uh, this character pretty consistently but like an engage hit on the swords doesn't feel very good cruel is hard to enable like i don't know yeah like doesn't hold items very well is the problem but you know, mm -hmm. solidly okay. Yeah. Uh, Venom, I think, is usually good as well. I have maybe put Venom into the almost always good. That's fair. Struggles a little bit, again, probably against the hand because of just the huge damage output coming in. But mm -hmm. um, Unless the hand poisons you and then it's free. Yeah, that's true too. If you get poisoned, it's fun to go plague right back. Mm -hmm. 
think the I biggest thing that Venom brings to the table is the cleanse side. Because this is something where the char your characters want to play slow, and Venom helps you play slow by letting you cleanse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good character. I, I, I put it in almost always good. I, I sure. It's actually my most picked uh, tier 3. I orange. think that's very fair. I think Venom is uh, right up there. Mm -hmm. Fencer is definitely a need support. Uh, let me think about it for a second, because I do like Fencer overall, I think. but um... I, I, The the net is wide for what supports Fencer, but if you don't have anything, I think this character is just fucking disgusting. I don't know. I think I put it in usually good. I'm not too upset if I don't have a ton of support for it. You need something, otherwise you're just sitting here hitting bad fours, or just one doll, which is not ideal. Or six. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Sometimes six. And no X's is nice. Mm -hmm. I, I, I will say on tier threes, I value a dodge a lot higher because it will give you the ability to not die to Tarantus, which is always sure. annoying. It's not the hugest thing in the world. It's okay if your tier three dies usually because you can hopefully recover after the next fight. Mm -hmm. But I've had times where it's like, oh, someone, you know, Tarantus devoured someone. Also, someone else died in the fight. So now I've lost two characters going into this next fight. And then the next fight is like really hard. And it's just like, oh, if I just dodged to eat this whole time, none of this would have happened. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. I, I, I think that's important to note, is that, like, it's a nice little extra bonus for your tier 3 orange to have dodge, but by no means necessary. Agreed. Uh, let's do a little pair a little pair here. I want to do Sharpshot and Ludus together, who I think both go in the If I Have To tier. Yes. Yes, I agree. Dude, today... I agree. Although I, ha I have a pretty high pick rate on Sharpshot for some reason. I didn't. I don't know why. But really? uh, I yeah I don't I maybe it's just because I keep seeing sharp shot when it's like oh I would like a way to kill backliners or something I don't know why it could just be like sharp shot versus leader a lot too I also just like have that. like a low I have a low time amount of time seen it I think like mm -hmm. most of the characters I've seen like about it's like a rough average of twenty five but for some reason sharp shot I've only seen eighteen that okay. might be part of the reason why could be uh, but we're, anyway we're doing this tier list because people in the Discord today were talking about Ludus. Oh really? That was that was the uh, the that thing the that catalyst. brought it. Yeah, dude, I fucking I fucking hate Ludus. <laughs> it's fun to say Luda. Yeah, yeah. I love saying Luda whenever I see Ludus. But this I... character is actually just a Soodle. Yeah. And, like Soodles are pretty easy to kill. I don't know if you've noticed. They usually show up in the mid game, and you don't see them anymore after that. Mm -hmm. I, it's not the... that it's not that good that you're controlling one. I feel like the important thing, the reason that we're here today, is because I so basically. Uh, someone said Ludus has a lot of items that turns them into a rock star, and I said, oh, which ones? And then they listed a bunch of items that Ludus can hold, and so can every other orange, and just hold better. Uh, Gauntlet, yes. uh, Simplic Whetstone. So yeah, Whetstone, Simplicity. Simplicity, The yeah. only one that was even, I think, worth considering is Poison Dip, but... Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for sure. But basically, the problem with these characters, they they share the same problem, which is just that they do flat damage, don't scale very well, and Ludus fucking dies. But yeah, Ludus has six HP, man. That's not much. If you at hold... least at least sharp shot into Hexia, you don't take the recoil damage. Yep, I think sharp shot has some okay use cases where you pick this character early and they're just fine. And there's some items that sharp shot can hold, but like, I don't want poison shit. Yeah, po poison dip. Um, Poison did much better on Sharp Shot than it is on Ludus. I, I actually think Sharp Shot with Wax Seal is really good because you get a bunch of sixes, which is cool. Mm. But, you know. Oh, and also Cantor Copycat, by the way. It, I've had times where it's been pretty good. I have had times where I've, got, I've gotten lucky and the and the Cantor Copycat on Sharp Shot does like some pretty crazy combo. Mm -hmm. But like, that's not, you know, that's not like a, oh, Sharp Shot did this. It's like, eh, Sharp Shot was there. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, next up is Roulette, who I think is almost always good. Oh, man. It, I, it, it sucks because you're right, because you do. Even if Roulette dies, it's usually worth having it. Yep. But, like, it's so fucking annoying, man. It's, I hate the sticky side. There's a ton of ways to beat it, which is why this character is so good. Yeah, but it's not fun when you don't find them. <laughs> Yeah, the the thing is, I think I said I wrote this in my spreadsheet when I was writing out all my thoughts. I think Roulette is so good that I pick shit in the early game in the hopes that I see this character. Yep, I, I do that. I do that for two characters. I do that for this one, and I do that for Barbarian. Yep, Barbarian, of course. But I will I will blind pick uh, Eye Patch or blindfold if I see them because it's like oh I could see Barbarian. Yep, and then I and win the game. Super super fair. The there's mm -hmm. just so many things because you can put coin on Roulette. You can put uh fucking. 
You, uh, there's units that can do it. Valkyrie, Maiko, Disciple, you just res, Surgeon, and Roulette are best friends. Like, there's just a ton of ways to beat it. And worst case, you put seven damage in and she dies, and that's fine. I had I had a run recently where I just had Charge Skull on, on Roulette, yep. and if she worst died, two. I was like, oh, seven damage and four mana. This is amazing. Yeah, I don't care if she dies. Mana. This is perfect. So that was pretty good. Yeah, when Roulette dies, you probably win the fight. That's all. Mm -hmm. Dablist, I think, is usually good. Uh does this unit does not carry but they also don't do nothing so for me it might be in the high end of if i have to i think i'll put it in the low end of usually good it's not the worst thing sure but it is it is like it is just kind of on average i feel like lower output than veteran mm -hmm. but like the three mana is better than three damage but i think i don't know it's just it's just a little bit of a weirdo yeah, I think Dabalist is the sort of... There, there's two units, and I'll, I'll talk about this with Dancer as well, because these are going to fall into the same situation. I think Dancer goes into needs support. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to move Dabalist down to needs support as well. And here, the reasoning why is that these are characters that you're picking uh, because your blue is doing all of the work, and all you need out of your orange is to make your blue slightly more consistent. And that that's what these fair. two do. Also... Uh... Is, if you're in a Hexia fight, Dabbles is really good if you're relying on your blue then, because you have heals, you have shields, and you have a mana side. Mm -hmm. You have three very relevant sides to keep your blue character alive so they can keep casting spells. Yeah, so Dabbles is as good as your blue character, and Dancer, the big thing about Dancer that everyone will say is that Dancer crushes the early to mid game fights and like the hallway fights and then is worthless on bosses, but if you have Dancer, the rest of your team is probably just going to be something that's making mana or your yellow is popping off. One of those two things. And Dancer has the reroll side, which brings a support that no other orange can bring. So I would have put Dancer into maybe if I have to tier, if I didn't have the run I had yesterday. Mm -hmm. I had uh, the... Oh, I forget what the item is now. Let me look it up. It's the annual that gives plus two in pain on the left side. Oh, Demonic Eye, I think. Yep, I had Demonic Eye. And then I had uh, Ocular Amulet, the plus one to left ah, side. Yep. I had both those on Dancer. And whenever Dancer rolled that that four damage uh, Rampage side, the fight ended. Yes. It was over. Mm -hmm. It even it pretty much ended my dragon fight. Because yeah. I rolled a turn one on dragon. I was like, oh, I kill the archer. I kill the bird. I kill... The, the goblin that was here too, by the way, because I had I had a start with goblin every fight. So oh, yeah. I, I wiped out, on one dice roll, I wiped out every single thing on the field and did 12 damage to dragon. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just that's just insane. Yeah, that is what you will find too. If you can buff Dancer's Rampage side and keep her alive through it, she will, like, decimate almost every fight. Yeah. Uh, now, that obviously needs a lot of support. Yes. But if you get the support, it's really strong. So. And in the worst case, she just makes your other characters hit what you want them to hit slightly more mm -hmm. often, which is good, too. Yep. Okay, Barbarian is almost always good. There's basically nothing to say about him. He just kills shit. Yeah, he does have the most damage. <laughs> yeah, he just hits. Yeah, just incredible. Incre again, one of the two characters I'll take, I'll just take random items for in hopes that I see him, mm -hmm. even if they're worthless otherwise. I had a run recently. I don't know if you saw this. I had a run where I had... Uh, Helm of Power and Clay, and I put it on Barbarian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he did 40 damage to Hexia round one. Love that, that was pretty cool. Valhalla. That was a pretty sick one. Exactly. That was great. I love this guy. Yeah. I mean, he's just. He... Maybe, although important to note, could be bald, but I doubt it. Doubtful. Not, not bald energy. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, leader, I think, goes into Please No. You could argue he's in the need support tier, but, like, he doesn't support. Yeah, uh, I, I've had Leader do crazy stuff, but it's again, it's like a, it's more niche than the dancer thing, right? It's like, yeah. it's like very specific items to make this guy work. But I had a, I had like, you know, the, what, when I came back to playing this game again recently, one of the videos I did was a leader run where it was Rainbow and I think Poison on the, on the duplicate move. That seems good. Yeah, so it was like it was like five poison dance, or was it? Oh, it was cleave. It was cleave, I think. It was uh, cleave yeah. and yeah, it was cleave and uh, rainbow on the duplicate side. So whenever he rolled it, fight also ended, which was pretty fun and cool, mm -hmm. and it did kind of single handedly win the entire run. And that's really cool when that happens, but that's much less likely to happen. I think in the actual general use case of leader, I think he's just probably one of the worst yellows for tier three. Yeah, but not like not so bad where it's like, oh, please don't make me do this. So I, I put it in if I have to. 
Okay. It, it's like it's like the, the the normal use case for leader. I think he's he's just a worse veteran. Um, did you know the meme where it's the the office lady at work and there's the fat nerd and then the handsome guy? Oh, it's the it's the, the HR one. Yeah, yeah, the hello. Where they using the compliment? It yep. is, is this veteran versus leader at the no. HR? No, this is leader Smith versus armorer Smith. Armorer Smith, uh, I am not calling HR on, but leader Smith, I am because my mm. yellow can do more than give plus two to someone else. Yeah, it should be doing four to five damage. Yep, uh, which this I is not doing. All leader needs to make me like him more is our girl side in the middle instead of that duplicate. Though is what I think, but. You know, what, yeah, what here? Here, what about two uh, reuse sides? Hmm. Uh, you can't. No, you can't put a middle reuse side in this game. Is the problem? Why not? What's the weird synergy? Uh, there? T the tier eight item Trident is an instant infinite. That's cleave on oh, the middle side. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, you you cannot. You can also just start picking pendulum though if you want to try that shit out. That does sound fun. Uh, Wanderer goes in the please no tier. I I feel like I have written a fucking doctoral thesis on all of the it's reasons. It's so it's so Wanderer fun when bad. it works though. Wander is the most fun bad character. Yep, aesthetically Meanwhile. very cool. And if you like having fun, he's great. And I hate fun. Yeah, if you're actually trying to win the game, is one of the worst characters for sure. I do just not very consistent. And in theory, Mister, I'm defensive guy. I should like the error sides on him because after a couple turns of being defensive. He's great, but you will die to the final boss if you try to do that. Yeah, None of the bosses you can really tank. It's yeah. not really a thing you can do. He's Especially with fucking Wander on your team. He is okay at Hexia, and that's as much as I've given. Mm, I don't even like him in Hexia, dude. I, don't know. I picked this guy. I, I had a run. I lost a run, and then I went and I played a run of this game on my own, just like afterwards. Uh, and I picked Wanderer, I had fucking Prism plus Steel for him, and I went into the hand, and I was like, oh my god, he's gonna go so crazy, and then he rolled 9x's and I died. That's, uh, that's a skill difference right there. Yeah, for sure. Skill differential. Uh, let's do... What, what the fuck is this guy's name? This is Brawler. Let's do Brawler and Bash together. Actually, no, let's do them separately, because I think Brawler goes into usually good, and I, th uh, and I think Bash goes into almost always good. I put them each, I think, one lower than you. I think I put okay. uh, Bash into usually good. But I don't respect the exert side, even though it is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I just don't respect it that much. I think it's a little overkill, and taking a turn off is usually pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's I don't know. Uh, but I, I think I think Brawler has to be the need support tier. Because obviously it's the same thing as a dancer. If you can get those uh, rampage sides buffed up, this character is sick. But if not, this is pretty uh, middling for sure for a uh, a tier three yellow. Uh, both of these characters have steel sides, which can just win you the game in the right circumstances, which is why I like them. But I don't like relying on either of these because they only have one steel side, though. I know, yeah. like I know so... that no one has more than two steel sides except, except for uh, a scrapper. Yeah, but um. I don't know. The, it's a little diff iffy. the difference in philosophy here is very simple. Uh, it's when you all in on Wanderer quad using, he has to roll quad use for you to win the game. These guys, it's very low in, low low investment to play around the steel sides, and if they and hit, if you, you miss, just win the game. And if you miss, you still do something with your turn on like yep. Wanderer, who sits there yep. and fucking dies. You can have like, uh, was it like self shield on damage sides on these guys plus a reuse, and if you hit steel you win the game like every boss mm -hmm. dies to that yeah and it's but it's not like if you miss you're not doing anything so there's other things they do and no, if nothing else they just show up also bash's exert in the mid game is just fight winning for sure that that is true i think i'm thinking more just end game and i think I think how do you feel about bash versus hand because i feel like it's probably kind of weak overall i feel like five yeah. five heavy is not good seven exert maybe kills a, a saber for you around one but then he's taking the next turn off and it feels like you can fall behind with bash in that fight no, he's stun, he's stun can also stun a, a saber too, but he holds uh, poison dip well though, which is nice in the hand. But yeah, he's not good at the hand. That's fair. That's fair. Um, but yeah, I think just overall, he's on the higher end of yellows for sure. I don't fuck with this guy. Also, almost certainly bald. I'm sorry to yep. say. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Um, who's up next here? Uh, we got eccentric, who I think needs support. He's good if you mm -hmm. have items for him. 
fairy or fairy dust it's pretty sick with him yep anything that um, covers up the weird x's he has x's in weird places so that you have more options mm -hmm. but he's still just a freak yeah sometimes uh you pick him early because you have to and i think it's okay because four damage to the, send is the, good. the four yeah four damage to send is a very strong side especially uh against the hallway fights yeah it'll just win so many fights for you just instantly Yep. I've had times where I've gone, I've gone time stone on eccentric, and it's pretty fun, mm -hmm. but it's not like the I, I don't know. It's yeah. it's okay. Agreed. I think you do need to cover at least two of the X's for this character to be good, though. Two of the X's with at least like decent sides. I agree. He's like if, okay. If you do that though, he's actually pretty sick. Yeah, uh, he's he also can... got the funniest element, which is important too. Uh, uh, what about poet? Uh, I think I think Eccentric's helmet is funnier than Poets. I don't know what Poets doing in there, okay. but I think I think I think Eccentric's uh, let's just be honest, is slightly you know more phallic. True. Not as phallic as 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 Guardian's helmet. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Very true. Very true. But uh, you know, it does give it some extra comedy points for sure. I do like Leader's Mohawk helmet though. Yeah, it is actually pretty badass. It's a shame that they gave such a cool helmet to such an idiot character. <laughs> Uh, this should have been Barbarian's helmet. Oh, Barbarian's helmet's cool too. I like no. the little the little chain thing in the front. Yeah, yeah, I like it. And he's got horns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow we'll do a helmets tier list. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna put both veteran and curator into usually good. They both veteran is like he's the usually good guy who is just he's gonna show up and do his job and have 11 HP. And curator is the usually good where he's usually gonna have a side that wins you the game. I think I think uh, I've come around on curator. I read that the unfair tier list thing that you were talking mm -hmm. about before. Yeah, I saw that they rated curator so high, and I was like, "Really? Is like the mana charge side so valuable? Because that is the most important side on him, I think, pretty inarguably." Or steel, same thing. Yeah, I guess I guess if you're doing steel stuff as well, can and you also... can actually do both pretty well together because you can mm -hmm. like you know make a lot of mana, and then if you roll the charge side, oh, what's this? I bursted all of my bursts into a curator. He's hitting for twelve. Like, yep, you can. You, those are both pretty good. Um. Uh, but it, it is important to note he has seven HP. He has the lowest HP yes. I think out of any of the of the yellows here, right? Yeah, by like a lot. Or not, not by a lot. I guess Eccentric has eight, but like very low HP. Uh, one you know pristine side is good turn one. Uh, the man the man the charge side is really good. Steel side is really good. Bloodlust is pretty consistent except for like maybe like the the final boss once you kill the ads. And uh, the death side, you know, it's a not good death side. So I don't know. It's whatever. It, it's 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 ultimately the character is pretty good, and it can be very good depending on your team. Yeah, I mean, mostly I think that it's hard for me to dislike characters that have no X's these days. I I think it's fair to say that curator basically has one X at least, and early has two X's with the the era side. True. And the death side's true. pretty much an X as well. Yeah. I don't disagree, but sometimes you just cash out the death and move on. It's also mm -hmm. okay. But if he dies turn one on a boss, you're just depressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's rocket through these grays. Uh, so actually, we can't just rocket through these grays because I have to talk about Valkyrie. Uh, that's another reason we're here. Mm -hmm. Valkyrie, last time I talked about this game, was like a top three character in the game. Valkyrie is now a needs support character. I don't. I understand why you feel that way, but I think it's still pretty good. I think I think no matter what, Valkyrie's at least usually good still. I understand that, you know. I it, it's it's it, when when no one's dying, the character does nothing pretty mm -hmm. much, which is not great. But especially in the final fight, uh you're dying a lot usually. So, yes. uh Valkyrie is and that's like the hardest fight in the game. So, Valkyrie being good in the hardest fight in the game is a pretty good thing. So, I think Valkyrie it's hard to say Valkyrie is not usually good, but Definitely can be lacking in the hallway fights sometimes. I find a lot of the time, even on turn two or three, I'm not even using the death side or the death defy anymore, mm -hmm. uh, which is interesting. Like you have to try to use death defy a lot of the time. I'm finding, but Valkyrie also Valkyrie is like forsaken now to me, where you either pick them because you have a specific character that needs to be saved, or you need to be bailed out on Hexia because Valkyrie bails you out on Hexia super hard. Mm -hmm. So good at killing Hexia. Yes. Uh, but yeah. Also, Valkyrie, sometimes you just sit there and spam Death Defy on yourself until she wakes up and hits the revive to save your life. Mm -hmm. But 
Eh. I, I like Valkyrie. I like still. Valkyrie. I like Valkyrie. I just don't think that she's top three anymore. I, I agree with that as well. Uh, but I do think that she's a very solid character. Yeah. She's, you know, it's it's also the shifting away from Graves. Like, I don't care about Graves as much anymore, so I just don't care mm -hmm. about this character very much. But, yeah. hey, her Death Wish side is crazy. That shit does so much damage. Mm -hmm. uh, Mimic is, please no, hate this guy. I, I think it's fair to say, I mean, like, the nature of the character, I think you're required to put it into need support. <laughs> Listen, if you have Warlock on the bottom, and I don't know who else on the top, I feel like no actual uh, top character synergize well with Mimic, but if you have, like, who's the top character that works well with Mimic? Venom. I guess, like, a two poison side is fine. Yeah. Fine. I don't know. I actually I, might like Roulette better there. I don't know. Maybe. I think and that... don't even get me don't even get me started on when you get the team switcheroos and you put a you put your whatever. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, let me put my no, red like, up there. No, I, I I actually do agree that mimic is almost always terrible. Even yes. like there are it's like it's like there's fringe scenarios where it's like, oh I actually have two characters that work pretty well with mimic here. That's pretty I have a warlock and someone else on top, that's good. Sure, I'll take a mimic here, but blind picking mimic when you have like I, I have I had the trapper and evoker and I saw mimic and I'm like you want me to take this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You want me to have a one vulnerable and, and an X on my Mimic Dude. here and hope I see things later for it? That's fucking crazy. Okay, man. Gambler, Mimic, Evoker. It's a dream team. Dude, it's it's so funny. I... It is a, such a wacky character that is like... It just doesn't high roll ever. It's... it's Yeah. Oh, it's not good. Although... It's it can be fine, man. It can be sometimes okay. The issue but usually with mimic not. is that in his best cases, he's taking like good damage and good mana gain sides, but that's not what your gray is supposed to be doing. Your gray is supposed to be putting shields up so your idiots don't die. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. One of the worst at that. <laughs> oh yeah, he's fucking awful at it. Mm -hmm. uh, Granite, I think is. I have to look at her sides. I think Granite is an if I have to. I don't agree. No, what do you think? Uh, I, I think it's I think it's usually good. Really? It's not crazy. I, I think I think the redirects are actually really solid for for the late game. Sure. Just and, and the steel side, you know, you love steel, boy. Look, look, look at that steel side right there. That's so good. Uh, wrong character. No, because you. Hey, what about what about knight? You put the bat. You put the bursts on the granite. <laughs> Yeah, but like now I'm doing damage with my gray, and it's like it's funny because I'm complaining that my Valkyrie does no damage on turn one, but like this guy does damage on turn one, and it's bad. Curious. Yeah, I I think the true value in Granite is the 12 HP and redirects. I think that's what makes this character good. Yeah, I mean Granite basically just takes like nine damage turn one, and then redirects and takes like 20 damage turn two, and fucks off, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But uh, I know that the the we didn't even mention it before with Valkyrie, but the 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 Angel Feather Valkyrie combo is pretty sick. Yep, it's same pretty thing. much the same thing on Granite. It's effectively the same thing. It, I don't it, think so. Go ahead. What was it? I mean, you know, you go, you go. I don't think about the Angel Feather combo because if I don't like, it's nice to have, but you can't plan around it. So by the time you're there, you have to be doing something better than that anyway. That is that is fair, but it is just nice when you have a sick combo like that with your Granite. Yeah, sure. I mean, it, I said that shit. I actually said that exact thing and then had an 11 round Hexia fight where Valkyrie Angel Feather saved my run, so. I also had a uh, uh, Valkyrie Angel Feather run save me recently, too. Yeah. Um, I, I do think uh, another niche thing that happened recently is that I had Unholy Strength, which is an item that I generally don't like very much. Mm -hmm. But I had Granite and I just had Unholy Strength on like my blue character and it was like, oh, just don't hit that guy so I don't have to worry about it. Like being able to circumvent, uh, like that restriction is pretty cool. That's obviously a pretty niche thing, but um, I just I just find that having 12 HP and having redirects is usually good enough if you have an aggressive team to just kind of have your other characters win the win the fight for you. Yeah, I can see it. I do actually not like the shield bash side though. I think it's pretty weak on the, <laughs> on this character. Yeah, and, and and in the late game, shield two repel is also pretty bad. Yeah, 12 HP stun is nice though. Oh, one thing I want to go back to you real quick. It's a, it's a while back here, veteran. Yeah. Uh, have you ever played? I think it's what is it? Tentacle, the one that gives repel to your yes. two right sides. Yeah. Have you yeah. ever played that on veteran before? I someone recently mentioned that they thought it was really strong. It's I've okay. never done it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like amazing because I feel like just losing the two health is actually just not even that much worth it. 
The, but I don't know. The tentacle, there's one character that really wants tentacle. Not really wants, but is fun with tentacle, but I don't remember who it is. Is it not a veteran? Oh, who else would it be? It's Forsaken. Forsaken? Who the fuck is Forsaken? Oh, there, here you are, Forsaken. How's it going? <laughs> oh! That one's I didn't know that it works on heals. Uh, yeah, it's because it's just, like, whatever. I've, so, yeah. I've always ever thought of it. I've always thought of it just on shield effects. I never realized it can be put on heal yep. moves. That's actually really cool. Yeah, and then it's a heal to all, but... Um, That's sick. I like that a lot. I didn't realize that was, that was a thing. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind for the future, I guess. Ru, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out of order here, and we're just gonna grab twin and go ahead and put twin in the need support tier because yeah. you know twin. You know what? You know what's fucked up? What's that? I had a I had a run recently. It was wax seal and clay. Oh, I put no. both on the twin. No. And I was like, this would be great. Why the fuck does clay not work on the other twin? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't because the other twin. Why the fuck? Have an item. Yeah. It's fucked That's up. fucking stupid, man. Same thing with mirror mask. I'm pretty sure happens. It's so annoying. Just make it work, Tan. Make it work. Make it work. But I, there twin. are there are really cool synergies. Like like wax seal on twin is actually really solid. Yeah, sure. And stuff like that ends up being pretty good. But uh, the 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 synergies are few and far between. They're really powerful when they're there, but they're not good when they're not there. It's one one of the worst characters in the game if you don't have any any synergies with it. So. Yeah, I mean, Twin does infinites too. If you have like Sushi Silk Cape, it's basically a guaranteed win. But mm -hmm. yeah, no. assuming you have a payoff for the rerolls. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, um, I, I had a run. I had a run not too long ago. Yeah. Where I had I had broadsword the the four damage one the vertical. I had oh, that and yeah. I had ornate hilt on Twin. Mm -hmm. That was really strong. Sure, Eight yeah. self shielded damage every round, pretty much guaranteed, was pretty good. Yeah, that is strong. I can see it. You can you, you do some cool stuff with Twin, but generally trash character. Yeah, you, you just, Twin is good when Twin is good, and you don't blind pick mm -hmm. this character. You have to know it's good. Yeah. Uh, I, I did Twin there because I want to do all four of the remaining greys at the same time, because I think they all do the exact same thing, and they all do it just fine, so they can all go in the usually good tier. I agree. If you if you want, you can put Stalwart up one, because I think Stalwart is the best of the bunch, but... I don't even know if I agree. I understand Stalwart has the utility of, of more reliable cleanses, which is really good, especially against Hexia. Yep. Um, but I don't know, man. I actually kind of am having like more of a of a of a lately at least a, a, a bit of a bromance with Poet. Yep. Yeah, I feel like having the double charge sides on the right team is just so strong. Yeah, and Poet has no X's, so you can always roll down to zero for the second mm -hmm. chance the reuse, which is nice. Yeah. Just, just a pretty solid character. Yeah. At the end of the day, each of these characters does the exact same thing, which is put shields on your team, and they all do it about the same. Mm -hmm. so, I like to do them in a batch like that. Uh, oh, yeah, that's red, fair. Reds, 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 reds. Let's see here. We got Witch, who I think is... As much as I'm a Witch hater, I think Witch is usually good. Uh, I, I think maybe it needs support. I do think that she's got some weak sides. Yeah. Like uh, the the by the by that point in the game, the heal three side I feel like is kind of falling off a little bit sometimes. Mm -hmm. Weak in one is definitely not what you want. Like I, it feels so bad when you're uh, you're playing Fey and then you have to upgrade into Witch and you're like, oh, I have one less of these weakened sides now. What the heck? And one less would of kill the you? sides. Yeah, would it would it kill you, Witch, to maybe have like one of these X's be a weakened side again or something? Like I don't know. Yeah. I... But uh, Witch does have the strongest spell in the game. Yeah. Arguably. It's... It's up there for sure. It's undisputably one of the best. She's the queen of inconsistency with one of the best spells. So, yeah, you know, it's very hard to make Witch do what you need her to do on the turn that you need her to do it. But if she does, it's really cool. And if not, you can probably just salve through it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I agree. Uh, Forsaken goes in the if I have to tier. And the if I have to is my run is about to lose to Hexia and I need to bind. I think that makes her a need support character. Then, I, I like, feel like I feel like uh, just I don't know. Bind can be a pretty strong spell. The sides that are not X's are usually pretty good, and if you get uh, it's not scalpel. If you get bone saw, you're really happy. You got it's the best bone saw holder. I think yep, for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, Agreed. Which is pretty fun. There's there's cool stuff with Forsaken. Little bit annoying to play without that support, though, for sure. I can see it, yeah. I, I think, generally speaking, though, this character is just like, even in the best cases, fairly useless uh, a lot of the time. But, yes. 
sometimes amazing. Yeah, it's like in the runs where I have to take Forsaken, I just kind of go, ugh, fine. And then I win and I'm not happy about it as I bind down to zero HP and then revive some moron. Mm -hmm. But eh, I can see need support as well because with, with Bone Slash, she's fine. But I just, I'm not happy to click this. Speaking of not happy to click this, do you have Wraith on your next? Uh, I do have I'm... Wraith next, yes. I don't like Wraith. Yeah, I mean, I, I put Wraith in the same spot. If I have to, I click it. I put I put Wraith into it if I have to as well. Yep. It's a little lackluster on the actual mana support. Most of the other reds here have mana combined with like heal usually. This only has the the mana. Yeah. Cantrip, cantrip dodge is just a funny little haha -ha thing, I feel like, most of the time. It is. Uh, it's neat when it's good for you, but like usually it's just like, I'm not getting targeted. What if I rolled cantrip dodge twice? <laughs> yeah. So I don't I don't like it that much. And you know you know what the problem is is that like it's obviously like the the issue with cantrip dodge is that like a lot of times cantrip dice you want it to be like oh I rolled this I'll settle here and do it again. Wraith you're like oh I guess I'm not gonna stay on this I'll keep rolling. Yeah. And it ends up you know oh what if I rolled it a second time and it, it, it's. Weird. I think... How do you feel about Leech as a spell? Because I don't know how to feel about this spell. It's good. I think. For, for boss, is probably really good. Right? Yeah, just being just like, oh, this person's already gonna die. I mm -hmm. guess I'll sack them to heal everyone back to full, pretty much. Yeah. They're gonna die anyway. Mm -hmm. Everyone else goes to full HP. The biggest mm -hmm. problem with Wraith, though, I think it's something that nobody ever really talks about. Wraith is bald. Oh, you know what? It's something we don't talk about very often. No one ever brings it up, but... I don't know. The problem, the actual problem with Wraith is that your side that you want to be hitting is the four damage, and that shit is a gambler. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Sometimes but you, you can sometimes dodge. You can sometimes dodge. True. Sometimes, sometimes dodge. It also, doesn't hold any of the items that you want your reds to hold very well, and mm. uh, it's inconsistent. Sometimes the heal shield is nice, though the inflict heal shield. But mm -hmm. often I forget that this character has that side. Yeah. Funniest character to have if you're doing an infinite, though, because she just becomes a gray square. Yeah, that's neat. Shaman. Yeah, who's up for you next? Shaman is a please no. Don't talk to me about the fucking tier 7 chalice plus shaman's 10 heal. I'm not listening. It's a lot of damage, though. It's a lot, it's a lot of damage. It's so, it's so much damage. And then I fucking close the game. Let me, let me, let me, let me meditate for a moment here, because I think. Honestly, to be fair, I think I put Shaman in the if I have to, because if you have good mana generation, and, and again, if you're playing a more defensive playstyle here, the spell is pretty solid. Yeah, Heal 2, Cleanse, Cleave is very good. Yeah. And if you can generate enough consistent mana to uh, do that, Shaman's output will be pretty strong. The 10 heal is a meme, obviously. Yes. You're, you don't need that, that's overkill, but 5 vitality heal is a pretty strong side. Uh, three growth and three, uh, three growth damage, three growth shield, not terrible sides, and then the two mana, two heal is on rate. So the character is secretly, I think, not the worst, but it is bad against most bosses because you don't want to be very defensive most so, of the time. It's, it's a, I always hesitate to compare character to character, but I think it's actually more viable to do now that we're in this meta of t picking grays to not pick shitters. Mm -hmm. The biggest problem that Shaman has is you're never going to cast her spell. Let me make sure I'm thinking about this character's sides correctly. One second. Let me make sure I have this in my mind right. Yeah, it's only they only have a single mana side. So yes. you, she has an extremely powerful spell that you're never going to cast, and she's just like, her spell is just worse than Prophets. I think you can cast it pretty often if you have like a pretty good blue character, like... Like a yeah. like a, a nice a nice sorcerer build that has some uh, support, or if you have because like sorcerer spell is kind of bad usually, so if you need like an, a different spell to actually pay yourself off, this is not a terrible one. Your wizard, mm -hmm. you can maybe get enough mana in there, but like it is it is this is not a good line. <laughs> this no. is uh, if I have to play this way, this is the way you play. Yeah, and I think instead of if I have to play this, I'm gonna say like please no, I'll just take the fucking I'll I'll just take the granite here. 
Mm -hmm. You know, that's how I feel about it. Because like you're not gonna make mana very often. Because your your shaman's gonna miss, and then if your blue is like Kronos, for example, because you're not gonna be playing a carry a carry blue who makes big mana with this. Mm -hmm. And maybe like Shaman Artificer is the secret tech, who knows, but... I don't like that. That sounds miserable. <laughs> yes, it does. So, I just feel like this is a supportive red in a world where there are not very good supportive blues to make this character make sense. Mm -hmm. But Ritual is super good if you somehow have mana for it. I just think you... I've had, I've had it be pretty good for me before. But not often. Very, yeah. very rarely. Very rarely, I agree. Uh, I have Prophet next, who mm -hmm. is almost always good. For sure, the best red. Uh, I I think there's in certain it, it's a situational thing, mm -hmm. right? Where like sometimes fate will just be better for you because it's it's more more consistent mana generation with a pretty powerful spell too. Um, you can have Plague Doctor, which does the funny poison ring when you have uh, Venom, which is not a real line, but like there are other niche situations where some of the other characters, if you Surgeon, when you have like Roulette slash Barbarian, there are other niches, but overall, Prophet's really good. Yeah, so instead of... My my thoughts on Profit are best summed up in the spreadsheet that I made. I made the spreadsheet and I've kind of just updated it and I'll tend to leave my old thoughts in. And so you can hear where my, my old thoughts and new thoughts merge together on Profit. Mm -hmm. I said, in theory, if you generate enough mana, you can reach an escape velocity and regen. However, in reality, you actually just do that. That's all. Like, it, mm -hmm. the theory and actuality of Prophet is correct. She just puts up so much regen that you outlive almost every fight. Or she just does the two mana job. It's like, Prophet opens up lines that you don't normally have, basically, is my thought. Also, Rescue Heal is very strong, too. Yeah, for sure. The, and the three heal rescue, even with like a little bit of support, ends up usually being pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Four heal vitality is very good. Yep, yep, exactly. Like, no like, bad. You're signs. not. You're never gonna miss on profit, basically. Yeah, exactly. She's she's just the premium of these reds because she does what all the other reds do, but the rest of her sides aren't hilarious. They're all good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna do doctor and surgeon together. I think they're both usually good. They do yep. the mana gain thing, and their spells are fine. Yes. I like Surgeon a little bit more because I think Operate is better, but yeah. Uh, I agree, except I do think that 2 heal regen on Doctor is better than 2 heal 2 shield on, on Surgeon. Sure, I agree. But I, Surgeon's nice because um, you never miss. That is true. You do have the double heals, whereas Doctor has the meme poison side and then an X, so... Yeah. They're pretty close. They're pretty comparable. Yeah. Also, the, the Liquor spell is sort of a, of a meme, I feel like, on Doctor, but it's not worthless. Hey, what about with Icar Chalice? 20 damage, am I right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. My bad. Never mind, actually. Uh, cleanse 20 is good, though. I mean, sometimes it's like, I'm going to die to this guy, and then you just cleanse 20 instead, and you take nothing, mm -hmm. which is nice. It's like a you are full health, and you're not dying to anything. Suck it up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, fate needs support, by the way, for sure. I don't even I don't even think that. I, I think I actually put fate into usually good. It's okay. I've I think paid... I think it's I think it's hard to not make enough mana to at least get some value out of strand. Mm -hmm. You have to be like trying not to make mana in order for that to happen. I feel like I guess if you take a curse like uh, mana debt or whatever, or expensive spells, it's a little bit harder. But I feel like it's so hard to just not get there with fate. Yeah, it's okay. I think that the big thing is that she just needs a plus one on her mana shields steals or mana shield heals because those are like. At two, that side is crazy, and at three and two, that side is unfathomable. It's so good. And I, I feel like it's usually just not hard to find that. Yeah. It is usually pretty easy to get get those plussed up. Um, and I, I just think Strand is actually a pretty just bonkers spell. Sure, yeah, I think it's pretty good, yeah. Uh, maybe maybe this is crazy. Here's, here's the thing, right? Salve is, is one mana heal two. Strand is when they're dying, which is when you need to heal them, zero mm -hmm. mana heal too. So True. Something to think about. Something to think about there. Maybe one of the better spells, maybe one of the best spells in the game. I don't know. Uh, but it is it is uh not as good in the boss fights when sometimes enemies are just killing you from full health anyway, and you don't you don't need rescue heals, you need shields. So Yeah, and there's a barrier to entry on Strand where you have to have four mana and you're never gonna keep all four of that mana. Well, often you're not gonna be keeping all four of that mana. So you do That's in true. a sense. That is that water. is very true. You're, you're correct. I agree. You're getting to spend the mana elsewhere. But mm -hmm. I think Fate is pretty good. But not like... Not uh, usually good? No, I think you I think you really want something to make this character exceptional. 
Mm -hmm. uh, okay, into the blues. So, uh, it's the blues are hard to talk about, I feel, because they're so contextual. Like, it just doesn't fully make sense. But mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, we'll do our best here. I think okay. that Kronos is, like... He, he, this is the guy, right? The reason that this is hard to talk about is because Kronos is, like, impossible to accurately predict where he's supposed to go. This unit is either pretty cool because your run wants nothing from your blue or he's a fucking joke so i guess he goes with dancer into the need support tier i think that's fair he is uh, you know i will say probably one of the better characters to go with shaman if you're trying to go for a defensive build sure he'll, he'll he'll you know he'll give you he'll give you you know he, he doesn't have the best spell payoff right slow is not a terrible spell it but is. it's really like it's niche and it's also like not good versus most of the uh final bosses so, uh, it's like, it's, it's fine. Dodging can be cool sometimes, but this guy makes pretty consistently two mana on the first turn, maybe three mana on the next turn, yeah. or he, he redo someone's dice, which, uh, can be good too. So yeah, I, it's fine. I think his spell is very good and he's really bad at casting it. Like Glacia has Yeah, no I guess that's, I guess that's more too. so the issue. Mm -hmm. That is more so the issue, I suppose, huh? Yeah, it's just super hard to get him to four mana, but, you know, it, it's just, he doesn't do damage. He keeps your team alive, and sometimes you don't want that. That's all. Mm -hmm. But Sorcerer is a bastard, and I hate him, and he gets to go in the need support tier, and if you give me this man as the baseline, or even just slightly close to the baseline, I'm just gonna be mad. Yeah, I maybe am never gonna play a Sorcerer after the run I recorded today. Oh shit! Fucking miserable. Yeah, and I, I went in on him. I went and I gave him the support he required. I gave him, uh, I think it was was it Magic Staff to raise his cantrips from one to two, mm -hmm. and I gave him the Ring to go from two to three. X, so he had X, the, the X. yeah, he fucked me so bad, man. Mm -hmm. Sorcerer. And you know, no, no, it was it wasn't that. It was. It was cantrip hit on the first time, so three mana first roll, and then XX. That's even yeah. that to me feels even worse because it's like you 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 know you like oh he, he wouldn't do it to me and he did it to me. He does it to you. It's very easy. Yeah, yeah. but you give this guy plus ones and he he's like borderline infinite. But the big problem is that XXX can happen, and it's the the actual problem is that like three mana XX is also very bad. Yeah. Oh, it's but like, like in, in a in an actual real world where the numbers don't lie to you and make you hate your life, this man with support should produce like nine mana a turn, which is pretty good. Yep, and he if we're, if your team doesn't really need a blue, he has a reroll side to support the rest of the team, which is nice. But also he's mm -hmm. a piece of shit. Spell's not the worst, but it's definitely not like crazy either. Like you could you again if you're playing a defensive build, you can like slowly poison out the final boss usually, but like it's not a good rate. Yeah, I mean, usually you'll just blow away most of the enemies alongside it in one go if you generated enough mana. But a lot of times, like, it's just the, when you're playing to win streak, you're playing to win every run. And in 99% of runs, or not even, it's probably like 75% of runs, Sorcerer does his job and does great. And then in 25% of the runs, XXXXXX go to hell. Mm -hmm. Almost happened. Yeah. Almost almost got very sad, but did not happen today. And the thing is, it'll feel like it happens more often on Sorcerer, because he can go X, reroll, X, reroll, X, X, right? And then it'll just go, man, what's he doing here? Yeah. So, you know, bastard. Uh Who's Weaver up Weaver I think goes into I think Weaver is like needs support or usually good. I put him in usually good, because I feel like he his the support he needs is one of the five red characters who consistently support makes two mana a turn, and then you're usually pretty good. Yeah, he just... I find that he doesn't go crazy sicko mode, double charged into Omega time, blow everything away very often anymore. He just does all right. Yeah, he's... I think best case scenario for for this man is probably the dragon, as far as like the final bosses are concerned. Mm -hmm. He kills the archer for free, you hit the bird, he then finishes the bird off for free, and then you're just playing like a, a, a man who makes maybe, hopefully, three to six mana a turn, which you then burst into the dragon. Yep, he's also, uh, I mean, just fine. Every, every blue that has dodged does well into Hexia also. Mm -hmm. So, he's okay for also that. Also true. But, yeah, he's just kind of a bastard sometimes. You shouldn't rely on the charge, but when you get the charge payoff, it is nice. Yeah, agreed. Mm 
I'm gonna put Wizard in usually good as well. Wizard is like the po he he is the poster child for needs support almost, but because he can boost himself, he can he gets the pass. Basically. I I put him in needs support still, but it's fair. One of the most fun characters in the game, and when you do hit the support for him, has a huge power spike. It's one of those characters where I think like once you get like oh you gave him a sickle, he's actually going to win you the game now. Yeah, I just feel like because you can boost him up to two, he's very good as long as you just roll for it. And I'm not, I'm not gonna forgive you for when I was fighting that that basalt, and <laughs> it, it it shot the death beam at the wizard, and you're like, no wait, he's gonna roll the cantrip. Yeah, I mean it's guaranteed. I'm not gonna forgive you for that. It that, always that, happens. I see. That's the maybe the most fucked up thing I've ever seen happen in this game. So for that, wizard goes into the need support tier. Yeah, I mean, wizard. I will say, I think that. Wizard has one of the fastest auto win combinations in the game that you can find, which is Dolphin Wizard. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Yeah, the if you get Wizard to four in any sense, he just wins you the game on the spot more or less. But generally mm -hmm. speaking, I just think that because he can cover himself with the boost, you don't need items, and there's so many items that he just makes it anyway. It is really cool when you just like roll a six side on someone else, and it's like, oh, so they roll six damage. Wizard gets the six uh, mana gain damage side, and then you inspire into another six damage mana gain. And now you've got like 14 mana in your pool, and it's just, yeah. it, it's it's sick. He's a very good character with Dolphin, obviously. Okay. But, um, it, I, I think a little bit below par, unless you have like good support for him. Fair. Uh, okay. War, Warlock is almost always good. I think that there is, it's hard to find a run where this guy is bad. Uh, yeah, I agree. Makes a lot of mana, converts that mana very well at a better rate than pretty much anyone. Mm -hmm. uh, just, and just and it, it's just not a hard hoop to jump through. Yep, he doesn't need a lot to be good. Like baseline Warlock is good enough. And then because of how he works, you can combine him plus one of the other units into one of the other reds into always casting his spell, which is just huge. Mm hmm. Uh, whereas, you know, Weaver is like, uh, I do a little bit of damage. Oh boy, I'm going to hit like six damage to, to two targets or three damage to four targets or whatever. Uh, Warlock is, I'm going to fucking kill someone. Yeah. Also, I don't know if you know this. It came to me as a shock when it happened. But Warlock, if you get to six mana, he just kills Baron. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah. cool. I learned that the other day. He's mana positive against Baron. That's so funny. Yeah. So if you get him on 412, he just wins the fight cool okay artificer i think isn't if i have to codecimal has been on the fucking artificer hype train for a little bit he did a 10 run pick artificer like force it sort of thing and the the ending analysis was just he's not as bad as ace okay it was it was a little more in depth than that i'm summarizing to be fair but like mm -hmm. i don't know he shows up he puts up four mana if you have to pick him he's fine he has a charge side he hits blades which is cool but generally speaking i want something else in the blue slot than this i i agree and i think because of that i think i put him in the please no tier because i just don't i just want pretty much almost anything over him so to me it's like in the please no tier i just i i don't know he he's not as bad as like an upgraded twin or wanderer with no support or leader to me. So I think he gets to go just slightly above. I think he's about equivalent with leader. Okay, that's fair. But I, I, I did, you know what? I did put leader in if I have to tier. So you know what? I think to be fair, I'll bump him up. The I said it earlier, I think, but it's hard for me to dislike characters that have no X's. He's almost always going to do something. I know he has the family I don't, I don't, heal. I, I don't know if you know this voice. He's going to get some X's in a bit. <laughs> Yeah, but like by that time, by turn three, hopefully your fights are decided. Mm, or he's just dead. <laughs> yeah, or or that. I mean, most of the time, even if the fight still goes past turn three or four, you will probably be in a position where no one's ever going to die by then. So it's fine. But I don't know. He's like... I don't fuck with this guy. Eh, if I have to, I'll pick him, basically. I don't fuck with this guy. All right. Ghast. It's hard. Ghast is like... I'm Gast put him, is a bit of a sick freak. I'm going to put him in need support. I think that Ghast is better than people think. There are definitely cool item combos where if you have it, you're like, oh, baby, is, is Ghast a clock? Like, just like just something as simple as like Bone Charm is pretty cool. But then it's just like, I don't even care if he dies. He made me fucking eight mana. That's sick. Goodbye. I'll see you next time. 
I'll tell and you the secret. We, I never care if he dies. You know what this unit does? I've, I'm sure you already know what this unit does. He, he first turn he weakens to, next turn he makes five mana and dies. Yes. Yeah. Weaken is so good. And this guy gets yeah. to do it twice. And also Harvest is an extremely good spell. It is a very good spell. Uh, absolutely. It is just it is just make more mana, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but this character does basically have two X's because the one mana side, I'm never I'm never holding on that. I'm always going to reroll it pretty much. Yeah. I mean, so, you, you ba if, yeah. if you don't need to weaken, then you just don't care what Ghast is doing. But, you know, it, it's like when you pick Ghast, you're in a position where your run is already fairly stabilized and you know where you're going. And then you just click Ghast because he puts Weaken onto summoning bosses and stops Basalt and Hexia from making dudes. And then he leaves... Mm -hmm. And then ideally, you have Sergeant, and then he gets back up and does it again. It is pretty cool, Mr. Wayne, when we fall. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or something. I'm <laughs> the know. hero villain. Uh, you want to see a pencil disappear? Okay. Last okay. guy. Yeah, so I... The best for last. Yes, I, I did intentionally save the best for last. I'm going to go ahead and make the new row below the bottom tier. You can't do this to him. I'm, I'm doing it to him. You can't do this to him. He doesn't deserve this. He, I have made a new tier called the Never Tier. I'm not. Do, I'm not putting him in that tier. You can't make me do it. Hey, you don't have to do it. But I, all I'm saying, I think that there is almost no situation where I would click this unit. Okay, idiot. What if you have twin with no synergy and ace? I might click twin. <laughs> you come on. You can't do that to him. I. It's close. You can't do that to him. You're not allowed. I would, because the thing is, there's a world where I could see Twin becoming something. Ace is like, I even... made Ace good before, dude. You gotta believe me. Yeah, I made my Ace pick rate right now is two of forty-three, because I I picked him in a run where it did not matter what blue I had, because my Venom was doing all the work, and then I think I picked him in a run where I just put Mirror Mask on him because he had HP. Oh, that's fucked up. You can't do that to them. Come on. Yeah, I just needed. Uh, you're you're an, you're being an asshole right now, okay? Uh, he's scum. <laughs> he is. You're being. Come on. Oh, uh, look, draw is the worst spell in the game. It yes. is like in almost every situation worse than bursting. I think yes. it's borderline break even on wanderer. Okay, but here's like the thing, Voyix. One time, one time, I had a run where I had, uh, I, I, I used boost onto Ace's three mana side and then make it four mana. So that way it matched up with the other dice. So I got a triple four mana and that was cool. So fuck you. Yeah. And what'd you do with that four, with that uh, 12 mana? I, you I, I had a collector that had the mana charge side. So it did 12 damage. And then I bursted for 12 more damage. So, I mean, what you're explaining to me is the fucking stars aligning. Yes, it did. It did. The stars aligned for me, boys. You don't understand. It happened to me once. You, you, I want to tell you something that's very sad. Would you like to hear my my rebuttal to this? Don't tell me you could just burst it or whatever, no. any other character. Yeah, but fuck you. No, whatever no, no, you're no. saying, I don't, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear it. So you had all the stars align, and you could uh -huh. get the exact same damage if you put Helm of Power on Barbarian. Shut up. I already <laughs> done that. <laughs> like, that's the thing. You have, like, fucking God descending down from the heaven. He says to you, make your one wish, my child. And you say, please, God, give me the mana. I want this ace to connect and make me 12 mana. And my curator gives me the charge side. And he says, it is done. And then I say, uh, maybe I could just have, like, a helm of power on Barbarian. And we have the same outcome, except my Barbarian goes to heaven. And I go right to hell, I guess. <laughs> no, you, you and ace go overthrow the government. Oh, uh, a little, little uh, remember, remember? Yeah, yeah, remember, remember. Now, like, to me, Ace is 100 of 100. He is the very bottom. Listen, you're not wrong, but I just, it was really funny when it worked for me, so I like him. No, I get it. And, like, much like Wanderer, he's fun. And if you like having fun, please feel free to have fun. Do not let me stop you from having fun. But I like to win, and this unit does not like to do that. Hmm. Well, I'm I, making a new tier in my list, but I'm putting it at the top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold I'm on. gonna change the color of this tier for Ace. I think he should be in the maybe like a nice little blue. Okay. 
yeah i mean it's you know this, this was a two and a half hour long joke in the making but ace is mm -hmm you know you don't it was I, all for this it was all for this but it is nice uh, to kind of look at this because sometimes people ask me what my least fate like what what are my bottom five and it looks like my bottom five is a shaman mimic wanderer leader which looks correct to me interesting that they're all tier three characters i guess it's because it's like you know you get to the end and that's why they let you well, down the most yeah you're right it's actually ace cleric and then those guys mm. cleric goes in cleric is 99 Minor, minor, mimic, wander. I mean, ace. I'll, I'll say in here too. So it's ace, ace, mimic, wander, priest, guardian. I think. Yeah, I didn't actually keep. I, I did put these like ordered within the tiers, so I can move it around. But my bottom tier is like the. the I think the biggest testament to slice and dice is that there's a hundred characters in it, and I think there are like six that I think are actually bottom of the barrel scum. No, there's actually one that I think is bottom of the barrel. Scott okay, come on, are. dude. Come on. Fuck you. There are uh, nine that I think are like, I really don't want to do this, but I will if I have to. You're an asshole. I, don't, I can't believe you would do this to me. I want to <laughs> see I want to see in that ace run what I picked over uh, what I picked ace over, because I think it was. Man, it, it, I think it had to have been a twin with no synergy. I, I can't imagine doing anything besides that. The Doom scenario where you pick Ace is like 412, Ace Twin, you have nothing for Twin. You just have to click Ace sometimes, but I don't know. It, it must be something like that. Where was... I, I I can't even find the video now. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, I found it. I found it. Hold on. Let me see what I skipped over it. Please hold. Holding. Oh, uh... uh... Oh, it was, it was actually, you know what it was, Voix? It was Shaman. Ah. I picked Ace over Shaman. That's in fair. This I run. think they're close. And it was the run that I had a curator already in it. So I wanted the I wanted more mana gain to make it work, and it ended up working. So there you go. Well, I think that'll do it. Voix, thank you for having me. This was fun I, to do. I, I had a great time. Thank you for joining me. Uh, would you like I to think tell you are the people a... about yourself? I think you're a rat bastard, and I think you will be put in jail for a long time for the crimes you've committed against me specifically, Yep. and the amount you have damaged my reputation. Very fair. Uh, thank you for having me, though. Uh, would you like to publicly address the liberal allegations, or no? Uh, no, thank you. At this time, I have no comment. Okay, understandable. Um, I will say, so far, my YouTube comments have mostly just been uh, jokes. No one has begun denying any group's existence which is cool yeah we'll see how long that lasts buddy yeah i don't know i got i got the five percent user spe or no the one percent user specified i'm an i'm an ally to the people okay well i'll let you know when i get the one percent women watching <laughs> <laughs> hey maybe if i try hard enough i can get back to one percent women yeah well goodbye yeah goodbye i'll, I'll put uh, thank you for watching everyone i'll put a link in the description to go watch cranberry he's been playing a lot of slice and dice i'm sure you've heard uh and i'll have links to the tier list so you can make your own put it in the discord ping me and i will tell you why you're wrong and yeah that's it any final goodbyes cranberry Oh, end the video, please. All right, I'm clicking end the video now. Sometimes I go to click end the video. I gotta go play Fortnite. I gotta play Fortnite. Oh, oh, he's gotta, he's gotta go play Fortnite. Urgent. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs>